Hello, hello. Welcome to what will probably be the last stream till question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, yeah. And I'm doing Baldur's Gate 3. Even though, um, kind of need to get some stuff done in DVD. But playing that game when the kids are home from school is, uh, what would say, unpleasant. <sighs> Leave it at that. So anyway, um, let me just check to see why my lovely, uh, stream isn't showing up right on the phone. And, uh, hopefully we'll get something done today. I haven't actually done much of this, this playthrough yet. And, uh, I've only done this playthrough once and it was only about four and a half hours. So, I'm trying to watch it on the phone, but for some reason the phone's not wanting to, like, turn the proper direction. It's a little annoying. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so, it's a really old phone, so it's fun, fun, fun. Anyways, so yeah, I haven't actually played all of, um, the, uh, available content since Patch 5. Uh, I played when Patch 5 first came out. I played up until my favorite scene in the game in order to find out if they had replaced the missing parts of that scene or added the missing parts of that scene, and they had not. So I haven't really played Patch 5 since then, other than uh, when I streamed it uh, a couple weeks ago. And then uh, in that, we didn't get very far. The only thing I've done so far in this playthrough on stream is, of course, the tutorial, getting my first two companions, the chapel, and the fight at the gate of the grove. So that's all I've done so far. And then after the fight at the um, Druid Grove Gate, I went back to camp, and that's where I ended it for that stream. And as I said, this will probably be my last stream for a while. I don't know how long, but it'll probably be a while. So we'll see how much we get through today. I'm probably going to try to go at least four hours. Could go longer, but at least four hours? We'll see. We'll see how far we get. Because, like I said, I only played Patch 5 up until my favorite scene. And then when I saw that they still hadn't worked on my favorite scene and fixed it, uh, I haven't really played any of Patch 5 since then, and, um, I think Patch 6 is coming out relatively soon. They've done the pre-patch announcement and told us we're getting Sorcerer, but they haven't actually said what day the patch is. I'm hoping it'll be Tuesday, but it probably won't, but they haven't said, so we'll see. So in the meantime, I figure since all these games are going to get deleted and Patch 6 comes out... And I can hope, hope, hope that they fix my favorite scene in Patch 6, but I doubt it, because so far the only thing they've confirmed is Sorcerer. So, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I've only got as far as the battle at the Druid Grove. Gonna see how much more I can get in today in like four hours, possibly longer, but I don't know. I'm quite tired. But this is the last day that I could stream before the house is too full of people to ever stream in peace, which is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> so I figured I'd at least try to get one stream in while I still can. So here I am. And like I said, I've got a bunch of stuff to do in DVD, but I don't like playing it when the kitties are home. And there's supposedly some new stuff in um, Guild Wars 2 for Halloween this year, but I don't know. So as you can see, we've only got two of our companions, but that was a deliberate thing because if anybody's watched my streams before, you know that I've got some issues with some other characters, so we haven't brought them along. Um, we have to go get Will still. If you don't know who that is, that's fine. You'll know in a minute. Um, I'm going to try not to spoil too much, but basically we need one more companion because there's just a four and didn't bring the other two. So, here we are, here we are. So I think we're about to go to sleep for the second night at camp. And then tomorrow we'll be doing the Druid Grove stuff. Now, I already talked to these guys before I ended the stream last time. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to have anything else to say, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just head to bed. And then go hang out at the Druid Grove. Alright. 
So here we go. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask, because I know a lot of people aren't familiar with this game, considering it's still in early access. All right, now we got to do all the stuff we got to do before me. we move on. You got to get your armor on, boy. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it seems loud to me. I will turn it back up if it's too quiet. Just let me know. All right. I don't think I need to do anything with him. I will try not to pretend that I thought of saying something else Shouldn't there. I wish but to I live in more interesting times. All right. Uh, <laughs> yes, he's my favorite character, so we're going to pretend we're sweet and innocent and not say anything else. Excellent. All right. Um, all right. So I got my little spooter. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about changing Goodberry because I haven't used it once yet. So I don't know. Actually, I don't think I can change it quite yet. I think I'll have to wait till I level up again because I haven't used it yet. I guess. See, it seems to me like if I got potions, Goodberry's kind of a waste, a waste of a spell slot. Plus, we're really just going into the grove and chatting after we loot all these fine fools that we just killed. So. Guess we'll go and do that. And chat with all the people in the grove. Okay. Um, I was yes. honestly trying to click on you. <laughs> Freudian click. I just always had the desire to talk to him. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I wanted the easy path. Watch Neil actually start streaming again for like the first time in two weeks today. And I'll be like, okay, stream's over, right, Neil? Neil's the guy that plays the Starion, for those of you who don't know. All right. Anyway. Because when he oh, does God, stream, please. he usually starts around this time. So. Anyways. But yeah. Although I need to get some stuff done in DVD, like the Rift, before it goes away on 13th. Watched. But one thing about this game, it is much easier to stream and stay involved if anybody's chatting with this game. Because you don't have to worry about dying the second you look away from the screen or take your hand off the buttons. Unlike in DVD. But, you know, they really need to work on this too. This whole... It doesn't say empty for some of them when you have looted them. It's Why does this keep kind of annoying. But anyways, need to find a way as bugs go, that's a pretty a minor one. Alright. I mean, on there's now. very few bugs considering it is early access. Done with him? I thought it would be a lot worse than that. Time to we press ahead. And now I normally don't could say a prayer. chat over have time for that. dialogue, but that's... Um, environmental dialogue. Yeah. So. That would be good. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Yep, there's the lovely DX11 freezes, but it's better than Vulcan crashes. Alright, so. We can say, where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. Or one fight just ended and now you're picking another, relax. Or druid, those goblins didn't take any prisoners. Or you can cough up my payment anytime now. Um, considering who my favorite character is, and he's in a bit of a hurry to get out of here, we'll say where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. She's right. We should scrum while we can. Right. Lead the goblins here, then leave the rest of us to fight them off. You coward! What's it gonna take to shut you up, Horns? The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. All right, so. I've got plus three for a melee attack. I can take a swing at the tiefling, aim a blow at the human, or plus one for intimidation. If you want me to take both of you down, I will, otherwise knock it off. Or plus three for persuasion. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think, or stand back and watch. Um, um, hmm. See, now, my gut says either <laughs> take a blow with the human or, uh, more violence. But, um, this one is kind of funny, too. But I only got a plus one for that. 
But in the interest of my bae, we'll just stand back and watch. Because, you know, it's none of our business what these two idiots are fighting about. <laughs> Should have done that a long time ago. No, oh, you're a big Arrogant jerk anyway. Had it out for me from day one. Can't imagine why. No one leaves my people out cold. He didn't. Okay. <laughs> you put him in a bind showing up like that, and he did try to open the gate. So you knocked him out cold and said, clever. Or let him speak. Hmm. Well, I'd never say number two because even though it's sarcastic and my baby loves sarcasm, um, I really don't like Aridin, like, at all. So, um, I don't really want to let him speak either. Decisions, decisions. Um, I guess we'll do one. You put him in a bind showing up like that and he did try to open the gate. Too little, too late. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins okay, than stay go. in this pit. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to find some goblins. All you gotta do is go outside. All right. Oh, speaking of my darling, my honey, my sweetheart, um, what would you like to say to me, dear? There's no point surviving these worms if we end up in a goblin stew. Let's just go. So I can say, agreed, there will be more goblins coming, or these people will die without us, we should stay and defend them, or we have to find a healer, let's look around at least. Um, see, that one is probably the one that he would like me to say, but at the same time, we have to be kind of logical here. I'm not going to say that one, even though that's what Gal wants me to say. Um, I'm just assuming, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, see, if I had another character with me and I said that, she'd have an interesting response. Um, let's see. Guess we'll say, because I don't want to say this one and then walk around, because It'll be like, oh, well, you said we were leaving, but we're walking around. So why'd you say we were leaving? And I don't want to be a hypocrite like that. Um, so I'll say we have to find a healer. Let's look around at least. Fine. But once we have what we need, we should leave. Okay, darling. All right. Um, see, at least, see, if, if you had Lazel with you and you said, oh, we need to look around, she would just be a total bitch. He's just, like, annoyed. He's like, okay, fine. But he agrees with you. He doesn't sit there and threaten you and Moving stuff. Ahead. So, anyway. Because I, I had Lazelle with me when I did this before, and she's like, I'll kill you! How dare you make us stop here! And I'm just like, chill your ass down, babe. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I think there's a couple people to talk to up here, but... Yep, he'd be dead. He'd be dead. Now, I think... <laughs> I, could, I could be mean up here. With this Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Alright, so I can say you could hold off over to goblins from this position. Why not take your chances on the road? You're scared of a few goblins, pathetic. Or goblins aren't hunters, they're prey. I'll kill every last one or leave. Um, I don't remember seeing this one before, but I haven't played Ranger in a while. So now what? We dig a hole and be done with him? See, I, this is the one I normally say, but I don't remember seeing this one before. We should have time for that. I usually say this one because yeah. <laughs> yeah. someone uh, appreciates sassiness. Um, I guess we'll say four, just because I haven't seen it before. Goblins aren't hunters, they're prey. I'll kill every last one. We need an army, not a hunter. Well, screw you then. There could be hundreds of them out there. Hundreds? <laughs> It'll take hours to kill them all. <laughs> She's right, we should just go. <laughs> I haven't heard that 
story in line before. Too bad the scene was messed up, but I haven't heard that a story in line before. See, now I should have said the you're scared one to get some approval, but since I hadn't seen that um, other one before, and I don't think don't talking to either of them down. really gets you anything one way or the other. I suppose we can talk to them. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Well, I wasn't going to talk. I was just saying if you wanted to say anything. But apparently not. Oh, Salona. Our lady How about you, girly girl? Not now. Please. See? There's no point in talking to these two. Alright. Anyways. Let's see now. Also, we've got an issue up here, don't we? We should go up here and see what's going on, shouldn't we? Everybody got everything they're supposed to have? Armor, pets, whatever. Actually, did I give a star in? Yes, I think I gave it to him, but I forgot to put it in his bar, this thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got an issue happening up here. You see that dot? All right. I was wondering if he was going to notice us. All right. Let's see how far I can get. Gail's first? Odd. Gail usually doesn't have the highest initiative. All right, he's got 27 points. So... This only works for 24. Or less. So we'll do this, I guess. Torment. Hey, he didn't miss. Fancy. Okay. Why is it not showing? I'm holding down shift and it's not showing the vision cones. I'm pretty sure you can probably see them. Nope. Yeah, but that's weird. Usually shift is supposed to show the vision cones. It's not for some reasoning. All right, moving on. Star. Yes, star and star. You can't jump that far, but... I don't think I can get him up here with Gil. Let's we'll see how far I can get him, though. Oh, I guess I can. Although I should probably put him over there, because he's pretty good at melee. But for now, we'll do this. Why are you missing? You hungry or something, Astarian? What? I said nothing. He might be hungry. Alright, um... Next... Me. How high up can I get? I think high ground still means something in this game, but they changed all the combat with patch 5, so who knows. Alright, um... Oh, I have magic missile too. Didn't even realize I had that. Although my intelligence is pretty low because of the, uh... Other stats I chose. You only got six points left, so... And I don't have enough movement to it, get him with the offhand, so... I'm just glad that end turn seems to be working so far in patch five. Why isn't it not letting me move the camera? That's a little strange. Why is it not letting me move the camera? I'm like trying to move the camera back over to this guy and it's like not working for some reason. That's so weird. Get up there. All right. He's down to four. Can I move him behind him without getting attacked? Alright. Not that behind means anything anymore, because that's one of the things they changed. No longer does uh, standing behind somebody automatically give you a sneak attack, which it used to. Um, Alright, and he's like at four left, so we'll just... This, I guess. Eat this. Okay, eat, crit, and die. Alright then. 
have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. So did we save Chicky Poo? I think we did. Where'd she go, though? <laughs> Where is she? Where'd she go, woman? I don't think she died. Where'd she go? <laughs> Doesn't she usually wait for you afterwards and talk to you? That's strange. Oh, she's down there. That's weird. Usually she's, like, up here somewhere. I guess we didn't have time for her to decide to come back and try to attack him for some odd reason. Alright, so I guess we'll talk to her. Ask her where she got her cool pink hair dye. I'd have a word. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Mm -hmm. Every voice actor in this game is so good. Even like minor characters, because I think it's the only time I've had a chance to speak to her in the game. And all of them are just so good, even like the ones that only have like one line. But anyway, um, coin, mistress, you lost me. I've been to Avernus, but I'm no devil servant. Uh, the bugbear would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. Or you got me, hand the coin over, and I'll be on my way. <laughs> uh, I want to say... I don't know. Any of them are fine, really. Um, but <laughs> we'll just say this one, because I already didn't say what I should have said earlier, so I gotta make up for that. So, um, you got me, hand the coin over, and I'll be on my way. I need a five, or actually a four. Thank goodness I had advantage, apparently. Actually, this is the first roll, so it would have been fine, I guess. That bloody Irenes! Devils just can't stand to lose. <laughs> Here. Now go back to the pit that made you. Oh, hush yourself. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so Starion got uh, one of these uh, inspiration points of his. Uh, and it's acquire a soul coin for your personal collection. So Starion got an inspiration point for that. Alright. See? I told you I'd make it up to you, darling. Alright. Anyways. <laughs> I guess we should actually go to the town and actually talk to these people. But I know sometimes if you take too long to come up here, uh, that whole situation is different because the game keeps going even yeah, when the character's not there to see it. Unlike most RPGs where the game just waits for you. But things actually happen when you're not there to see them in this game, which is unique and very nice that it's realistic or more realistic like that. Because most other games are just like, well, if the character's not there, then the whole world just freezes until they are. Oh, it's Timber. Timber, the friendliest squirrel ever. Let's go talk to her. Chit chit. Okay. The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. <laughs> Told you, friendliest squirrel ever. So I can kick her, which I have plus one. Or stand, study the creature's behavior. Well, since I have plus one, we're going to kick this little brat. She bit me. She deserves it. It's self defense. Ten, really? To kick a squirrel? Oh, are you, are you kidding me? These dice, man. No, I don't have weighted dice on. I consider it a bit cheaty. So should I waste an inspiration point on a squirrel? I kind of want to, but mm, yes, you can. If you're not familiar with the game, if you have an inspiration point, and you fail a roll. You can spend the inspiration point to roll again. It's like this is stupid, but. If you get through this with successes, you get something that I, I kind of like to get if whenever I can. So, um, am I going to need an inspiration point anytime in the near future? I might need it tonight at camp. So I guess we'll just continue. The squirrel <laughs> moves too quickly. Your foot finds only air. So I can reach for my weapon, really? <laughs> or plus three dexterity, try to kick her again. 
<laughs> How come it was strength the first time, dexterity this time? I'm still trying to do the same thing. So yeah, we'll try to kick her again. She, I told you, it's self-defense. She bit me. <laughs> this, is a, this is a great squirrel war. Okay. <laughs> Ten again, which is actually seven. Why? No. I don't know why it says add bonus when I like, don't have any bonuses to add. It's strange. Oh my god, these dice! Why do they hate me so much? Why do they hate me? <laughs> oh, I'll save the inspiration point because I might need it tonight. This also misses. <laughs> Seriously, why do the dice hate me? With a cocky flick of her tail, the squirrel scampers away. Fine. I still love the way British people say squirrel. Squiggy girl, squiggy girl. I don't know. It's, I can't even squeal. I don't, they don't, they say it differently. It's, it's, they just, I don't know. It's different. Okay. Ah, phone, stop giving me notifications right now. Thank you. Squeal. Squeal. All right. I don't know. All right. I don't think we can get this cop here yet because we have to go down there. And do something before we can use the elevator. Seriously. Can we do this again? No. Darn it. I want to take that squirrel down. Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, um, Alright, so let's go down and talk to actual people now, I guess. Instead of overly edgelord squirrels there. Hi. Zev. You might want to get back up. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Hi. Mm, Gresham. Yes. Same A to you. A cheap shot. I should have <laughs> expected that. So I can say, are you all right? Or Aridan ran off? Or you had that coming? Or better than that than further bloodshed? Or... Mm. I'll say Aridan ran off. True to form and good riddance. Yes, I this don't like him much either. Troubles enough. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. So I can say I have no quarrel with druids, or why are they throwing you out? Or those goblins? Have there been many attacks like that? Or I won't be staying long and just need to find a healer. Well, I told my bay. I mean, I mean my my lovely uh, pal companion that. Uh, we're only here briefly, so I won't be saying long. I just need to find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. See, anybody that played before Patch 4, they probably... started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world I'll outside. I'll continue in a second. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. But yeah, anybody that played before Patch 4 probably had the same reaction when he said Netty and just cringed. Because before Patch 4... Mm, let's just say they've improved Netty a lot since Patch 4 because before Patch 4, talking to her was never fun. All right, so uh, let's see. This ritual is a nobody can suggest step to stop it or what brought you here or leave. Well, we don't have time for your problems. We got bigger issues, so we're not going to sit here and chat all day, so we're going to leave. Thank you again for your help out there. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. Okay, FYI, I have heard all of this dialogue before, and I've the first time I played through this game, I got every bit of dialogue I could possibly get from every single character that I ran across. But now I have other goals in the game, so I say things with a specific goal in mind when I say them. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay. All right. But I have at some point heard all of the dialogue because I wanted to hear every single bit of dialogue because it is so good. But now I play with a specific... Specific reason for the things I choose. <laughs> I don't think I have much to sell here, but we'll talk to him. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, 
And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Okay, so I can say, are you really locking down the grove, or what are you selling or leave? What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. <laughs> yes, I know. I could be getting lots more information. But like I said, I'm playing with a specific goal in mind. Role-playing, if you will. So I know what I should say to certain people. We don't <laughs> so even know these people. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't matter. I forgot to mark all these off, so it'll take longer to sell. Of course it does. Great you axe. Hmm. Strangers over us. See, that's probably better than my short swords, but Not at the same time, I, I like having that offhand attack when I need it. Can we stop shouting? So I no? think we'll get rid of that. These are cursed. Read the fine print. You do not want these. Okay. A lot of people think, oh, that sounds really good. But trust me, read the fine print. You don't want them. I made that mistake the first time I played. You don't want them. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, I should have marked all this shite off. Um, Starion wanted this, huh? Okay, Starion, you can have it. Less stuff for me to carry. All right. See, water's just a camp supply, but it can also be used for other stuff, so I'm going to keep it for now. Oh, yeah. What do you have, bro? Take that. I don't have much money, though. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. See, I've got... I think all of us... Maybe all of us have at least two of these? I don't know. Gale and Astarian might only have one. These are very expensive, though. I don't think I can get them, so we'll just leave it be for now. Alright. Gale, do you have anything to sell? Oh, Astarian, how did you level up before the rest of us? Oh, I, probably because of his, um... Inspiration point, noble soul thingamabob, or whatever. Yeah, he didn't have anything, right? Okay. Okay, he does have two. And he's also got two. See, I don't think I'm going to use this. I might give it to Will. People. Yay, freezing time again. See, that's the thing. DX11 does these little freezies, but when I was using Vulcan, I got more crashes. I haven't crashed once since I switched to DX11, so... That's not what yeah, I said. might give that to Will. Can we stop I don't know. Because he's no? got a, a rapier, right? Yeah, he's got a rapier. Although this one has an extra advantage, but how often is Will even going to be mailing? Screw it, I guess we'll just get rid of it. Alright, anyway. And I will hold the gold, because it's a lot easier to keep track of when one person's got it all. I mean, yeah, it shows it up here, but it's a lot easier if I can just have it on one person. All right, so Starion leveled up. He can finally get a second bonus action. Yay! Yay! Calm down. Yes, because again, when I uh, first started playing, I thought, "Ooh, Arcane Trickster sounds really cool. He has magic." I really wish they'd fix this so the helmet stops showing when you have it hidden. But anyway, yeah, Arcane Trickster sounds really cool. But trust me, Thief is way better. That extra bonus action has saved me so many times. So, yeah, Thief is way better. Yeah, that's all I gotta do. Just pick a subclass. You're so easy to organize there. Alright. Now I'm gonna give it a real save before we move into the grove further. Alright. Oh, yeah. Can get more supplies, I suppose. Yeah, they need to fix that too. You used to be able to reach that, and now you can't. We don't even know these for some people. weird reason. That See, there matter. are little things like that, but of for an early access does. game, you would choose it's a lot less <laughs> problems than you'd think there would be. Well, she's That's having what I said. kind of a fit of some sort. Can we stop but yeah, most of the bugs are what? just like animation glitches and stuff, which is pretty good, considering... There isn't really much that's game breaking. Alright. No 
path lies before me. Another step forward. Now, most, most of the time when I'm playing just by myself and not streaming, I usually only talk to the people that I can get specific dialogue from or get a, a quest or something from. But since I am streaming, this is the last time we're going to have patch 5 no probably. Brief this 10 day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. We'll try to talk to everybody a little bit. Dude, all I did was click on you and said hi. Why are you telling me about causing more grief, man? Plus, I just saved your bacon at the gate, bro. Okay, anyway. You sound like your father. Well, it was his caravan. There's so much, like, even ambient dialogue. It's just crazy. Because if you, like, leave your characters here while you, like, go to the bathroom or whatever, it's just endless conversations the whole time. So yeah, Aridin and them took off, apparently, so I guess we can't get this quest from them? I mean, you can, the thing is, though, I'm pretty sure you can still do it, even without, um, getting the Careful. quest from I'm behind. No helping it. We're exposed now. I'm sorry, I just forgot my name. What, what, what was that starting? Um, um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, uh, go, go, go and, um, um, deal the, do, do, do something. You, you just really distracted me and now you're standing on top of me. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Well, I don't know. That's pretty tough to me. Dennis. Yeah, I've got the same decks as him, but I think he's got other advantages. Slate of hand proficiency. Which I don't think I have. 17. He really lockpicked the hell out of that. Okay, anyway. Thank you, dear. Now, what were you saying about, give up now. about, about biting? I'm sorry, you just really distracted me. Okay, um, <laughs> he said, careful, I bite. I did not imagine it. That's what he said. I didn't make it up, I swear. See, this is another weird bug that has come with them. Patch five. For some reason, it, like, doesn't want me to... If not over, Click then three. Um, some right. strange reason there. Is that happened that you go on there trying? Like why? It like goes dark and you can't click. But like I said, it is early access, so there are bugs, but none of them are game breaking. Thank freaking goodness. I guess we'll talk to these people just since people might be new to the game and haven't heard all these things before. So we'll talk to them. Um, yeah, let's actually talk. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep <laughs> eavesdroppers out. Uh, yeah, hi to you, too. Okay, uh, so I can say, don't mind me. I was just passing through. Or sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Good luck to you both. Or two tiefling refugees. You'll be lucky you get a square of dirt in, in a, at a public house. Um, Just because... Some people might find sassiness attractive. We'll say, um, two tiefling refugees. They'll be like to get a square of dirt in a public house. I mean, it's not my decision, but, you know, if racism's a thing, they should be aware of it. I'm just helping them out by pointing that out to them. If that's what we're offered, we'll take it. Trust me, racism is a thing Everyone's in this game. to start somewhere. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Mm, I prefer realism, but thanks for the advice, babe. Okay, anyway. <laughs> But seriously, if you are moving to a city where your group of people are hated, don't you think you'd like a heads up about that? I was helping her out. Like, you know, they're jerks in Baldur's Gate. You might want to be aware of that before you start making plans. Moving in. All right. Let's see. Just another crate. Just another crate. Hey, maybe that crate has feelings. You don't know. So since they left, we can actually take all their stuff. See, if they don't leave, all this stuff is listed as red and considered theft. But since they left, we can take it all. We're exposed now. Why are you going up the stairs, babe? I was telling you to click on the barrel. Yeah, these are all camp supplies, so they're useful. I think I got this backpack already. 
Yeah, that's one thing they do need to work on is um, actually listing things as empty when they're empty. Because that seems to be a recurring bug. She's one of my four favorite voice actors in the game, too. It's, um... Astarian, obviously, is my favorite voice actor in the game. Um, but my other favorites are the narrator, Auntie Ethel, and Raphael, who we haven't met yet. They're my favorite ones, but they're all really, really good. See, that one's considered theft. This one is not. Interesting. Hello, dear. We'll talk to you first. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Well, I don't know if they were slimy. I didn't actually touch them because I'm ranged and stuff. Hey, why? Excuse you. Why did that just like kick me out? We'll be leaving soon. Make sure you stock up. That was weird. Did I accidentally click something? Because I don't remember clicking anything. That was strange. Did I actually get the item from her? No, doesn't look like it. That's weird. I've never seen that that happen before. But since I'm in here, might as well mark off the stuff I'm gonna sell. Alright. And again. Swing and swing and shoes. Story item. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, that's... No helping it. I'm not sure why this listed a story. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this. Okay, um... Yeah. It is getting super hot in this room, too. So I'm gonna open the door and then have the dogs coming in and bugging me. Not my dogs. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so that was weird. It just kind of, like, skipped past her dialogue for some reason. Oh, what do I do for some salt? What? Is going on. Good work, kids. All right. Also, let Your me see here. Each and every one of you. Uh, Please don't skip past hers. The camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh, there isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, I love her voice actress. Now, I forgot to do what I normally do, which is send Gel to the other side of the room. Because if Gel interrupts Astarian's line here, I may actually reload. Because Astarian's line is so good. Alright, anyway, um, let's see. No need, I'm fine, really. Let her fuss over you. What are you, an alchemist? Or I'm just here to trade or leave. We'll say, there's no need, I'm fine, really. Sorry, love. I just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. Are you all right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll say um, I've been better. It's difficult to explain, or I'm fine, just bone wear after a difficult day, or that's no concern of yours, or leave. Please, Gail, do not steal this line. Please do not, do not, do not steal this line. All right, I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh. I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught <coughs> dabbling with a dryad. <gasps> she the wife me up. was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not, I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, <laughs> he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Uh -huh. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Uh-huh. Oh my god, please don't steal this line, Gil. Alright. So I can say, I've got a mind flare parasite in my head. Or, there's nothing wrong, I swear. Actually, no, I think Gil did... No, the line didn't go off. That's right, because it would have been... Yeah! Where was the line? It was supposed to be right there. Hmm... Interesting. Did they take out that line even though it was one of the Astarian's most hilarious lines? 
Because it should have been before this. That's irksome. It is one of Astarian's best lines in the game, and it did not come up. That's annoying, because it's like, Gil didn't even say anything, so that couldn't have been it. Oh, this is so annoying. Where is, when was the last time I said? What the heck is going on? There should have been a line there. Plus, they canceled out her her stuff, too. You know, normally I don't, I don't do this, but I would like to know what the heck is going on. It canceled out Okta's lines, and now it canceled out Astarian's, too. Okay, so we're going to have to go back down, collect all that stuff again if I re reload. But, you know, I want to know why these lines are disappearing. Because they should not be. It's like the di there's such good dialogue in the game. And for some reason it's like cutting it out. And I don't know why. Which is very strange. So we'll try that again. Because it cut out all of Okta's lines. And then it cut out Astarian's line there. Even though usually the only time they cut out Astarian's lines is if somebody else talks. Which is why I don't bring Shadowheart. But... Yeah, um, that's really strange. It's cutting out lines. And like I said, the dialogue is my favorite part in the entire game. So when it cuts out lines, it's kind of annoying. So, I'm going to have to go and loot all that stuff again now. I'm not going to go talk to those people again because we already heard what they had to say. But I do have to go and re-loot. It's very weird. I don't know why lines are getting cut out. But one thing I've noticed, which is strange, is usually... When the patch first comes out, well, two of them are doing a dance over there. We don't even know but these people. yeah, when the patch first comes out, there seems to be less bugs than when it's really close to time for the next patch. When it's close to time for the next patch, there seems to be more bugs. So I don't know if they're like actually changing stuff in the live server without doing an official patch, because it seems like the closer you get to patch time, the more little glitches like that you see. Alright, so we gotta loot all this stuff again. Alright, the looting simulator. No helping it. But yeah, the that's really gone. weird that it's like cutting out people's lines. I'm not happy about that. Don't mind if I do. The dialogue in this game is so good. So when it gets cut out, gate. it's kind of annoying. What I wouldn't do for better My love, you were a caravan escort for three days, and you quit in the middle of your shift. You sound like your father. Well, it was his caravan. Ah, uh, we didn't get the careful I bite line this time. <laughs> you got 17 last time. What are you looking at, bro? What? But that was listed as red. No helping it. We're exposed now. That's weird. That wasn't listed as red. Why'd he come over here? I don't click on stuff if it's listed as red. I'm not a common criminal. Hmm. Yeah, none of these are listed as red, so I don't know why he came over here like that. And now it's doing that again. That where it gets dark for some reason. Damn. He doesn't want me to click on things. It's like a semi-freeze, but not. Could you? Could you wake back up, game? Yeah, it seems like there's a lot more bugs closer to patch time. So strange. Alright, anyway. No helping it. We're exposed now. So weird. What I do for some salt. All right. Moving on. I guess we didn't talk to this guy either, did we? But usually I only talk to him when I need to sell stuff because he's a vendor. Something good here, I hope. What do we do for work when we get to the city? Whatever we want. I think All right. we'd make a fine teacher. So since we didn't talk to him last time, I guess we'll talk to him this time. A butcher? Really? Sure. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, 
Just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Okay, so I can say, let me see your wares. The forge is holding them by a thread. Are you a smith or leave? Well, I don't think I have much to sell, but we'll say, let me see your wares. And this was before I marked everything off, too. Heavy crossbow. I believe I can actually use that. Because I've got the light one on right now. Okay. Shoes. Where are my boots? I'm pretty sure nobody else picked up anything. He doesn't have anything that I'm going to buy anyway, because I don't have any money anyhow. At least not much. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. All right. Now. I'm going to save now just in case it starts acting funny again. I'll grab all this stuff and then I'll send Gail away and then try to talk to these people. I don't know why they'd cut out that Astarian line though, because it's like one of his funniest lines. So, and I don't see any reason why they'd ever cut it out. So it's really strange. And they just completely skipped over Octas. Hello there. See now that one's considered theft. All right, Gail. Why don't you go do some sightseeing? Not around, so it might as well. Okay. Gail, go do some sightseeing. Just in case you being here is what's making Astarian not be so chatty. So go sightsee over here. Yeah, just just chill right there, bud. All right, let's talk to Octa and see if it skips her lines again. Yes, I'm saving compulsively now because it's been skipping lines and it's really weird. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Now Best don't skip any lines. Now, while we still can. All right, so I can take a bowl, or say I'm not hungry, or what is it exactly, or no, thank you. The smell is more than enough. Or a bowl of grey goo reminds me of home. We're gonna go with a bowl of grey goo reminds me of home. You've been on hard times too, huh? Uh, and I'll say it's either, either no worse than what you're facing now, or it's all in the past. We'll say it's all in the past. That doesn't mean it's behind us, though, does it? Here, have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's mm -hmm. Gate. Trust me. Got extra bowl. Yeah, and I deliberately chose it with the numbers instead of the mouse, because I wasn't sure what was going on there. Why it uh, skipped dialogue before, so in case that was why I decided to use the numbers instead. See, I got an extra bowl. All right. So we're going to save one more time, and hopefully it does not cut out the Starian's line this time. Because it's hilarious. Hello, dear. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh, there isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Uh, I just always find her so amusing. Okay. So we're going to say the same thing is uh, there's no need. I'm fine, really. Sorry, love. I just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. Are you all right? All right, please do not cut out the starring line this time. Okay. I'll say I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not, I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks God. good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. My, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. Ah! Is it? <laughs> That's it's the wrong. line. <laughs> See, apparently it was because Gal was over here. Astarian's more comfortable being himself when it's just me and him. Because when Gal was here, he didn't say a damn thing. But when I sent Gail away, it's like a little kid in a candy shop. I love it. See, I know how to play the boy. Just when it's just me and him, 
it's 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 a whole different thing. It's just a whole different thing. That's why I did an entire playthrough, which is in my VODs, of just me and Astarian. And that was before patch 5, of course, when they changed all the combat. But yeah, I did an entire playthrough with just me and Astarian. And made it 16 hours, I think, with only one death, and that was kind of accidental. So, but yeah, isn't that interesting? Just having another person with you cancels out his lines. But if you send that person away, then you get them. So he's more comfortable being himself when it's just me and him. I see where this is going. I see where this is going. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so he wants us to tell her everything. So I can say, I've got a mind flare parasite in my head, or there's nothing wrong, I swear. There's no concern of yours or leave her. Well, he says, she's positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. So I've got a mind flare parasite in my head. As you recount your adventure, <laughs> Sorry, <and approves. laughs> Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. Oh, gosh. <gasps> you poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes. I may have something at home. So it was definitely worth the reload, in my opinion. <laughs> it was worth it. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so I can say such as, or my tongue could be running short. Can't afford to be playing, blah, 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 paying you a house visit. We'll say such as. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Um, I don't think I can afford anything. But, um, you can say what harm, show me your wares, or nothing for now. I guess we'll look, but hey, I don't bother. think I can buy anything. Swing swing Invisibility potions, nice, though, for certain things. And she's got the, uh, big boy healing potion. Um, what do I do for some salt? We're exposed now. I don't really have much money though. Oh, well, I guess I can get all that. I don't have any money left, but hey, I guess we'll get it. Alrighty. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, pet. Alrighty. Now I gotta rearrange some stuff. I'm gonna give this to him for later. Put this on the hot bar. But we're gonna have to move it a bit because I don't want it down there. Oh, I've got 13 health potions. Interesting. He's got two, he's got two. Well, 13 plus these two. Or this one, whatever. I can almost count. Oh, where did I put that? All right. Bucket? So at least I, like I said, the reload was worth it in my opinion. Got my Astari in line. Oh, and now me and uh, Gel have leveled up. Speaking of Gel, let's get his butt back over here. Okay, you can come back now. Me and Astari had our little moment. Since he doesn't want to be himself around you. All right. All right, Gail, let's level you up. Gail is always the biggest pain to level up because you got way too much stuff. We'll just cancel out everything for now and then have a look. Um, Misty Step is very valuable. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Dark Vision or Hold Person. He kind of does need Dark Vision, though. I think I can... Maybe give. Yeah, guess we'll get him dark vision. I think I can get him hold person, or get will hold person. All right, custom is go away, and you can go away too. What else in here? Misty step, dark vision. Now sleep or Tasha's hideous laughter. 
Which do I prefer? Um, see, I think that they can now wake each other up if you put them to sleep, so Tasha's hideous laughter might be a better bet. All right. I thought there was some kind of... Yeah, he has to have an intelligence of five or more. And this one's based on health points, and this one's based on intelligence. But I think that other people can wake them up from the sleep, so maybe Tasha's hideous laughter would be better. And plus damage, I think, breaks them out of sleep. I'm not sure if it breaks them out of Tasha's hideous laughter. So I guess we'll just go with Tasha's for now, just to see how it works out. Okay. And then my turn to level up. All right. Target two creatures standing close together, attacking them in quick succession. Larger, bigger creature attacks, you can use your action. Melee attack. The weapon attack deals an extra 1d8 damage if the target is below its point, its hit point maximum. Hmm, that sounds kind of nice. Guess we'll try that. I don't know if I've used that one before. So, oh, that's for Hunter. That's why I haven't used it before, because I usually go Beastmaster, I believe. Um, Hunter or Beastmaster? Bind themselves to an animal companion, sharing an intelligent bond that flourishes in and out of combat. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the Colossus Slayer does sound nice, but I kind of like my Beast Slayer. You go away. Never use that ever. Um, right. See, this and this sound good, but... I don't know. I think I'll get more use out of this, honest. Plus, those use both. I guess that uses a spell slot, too, but... I think it lasts, what, all day? Or until... a rest or something? Yeah, I think I'll get more use out of Speak with Animals, honestly. So... Placement spell. Oh, okay. So I can just replace. Yeah, I never ever use Goodberry. I don't know. So I guess we'll go. Mm. Slow them down or try to hit more than one. I don't know. Guess we'll go that. Alright, so we're all level 3 now, and the Starian's finally got his second uh, bonus attack. So we're going to give it a real save now that we did all that. We're exposed now. And then we got a few more people to chat with here, but i got to organize some stuff. Hmm, doesn't taste half bad. Okay, that does not use a spell slot. So I'll put that up there. Yeah, I said before that I always put the ones that require spell slots on the bottom because I don't want to accidentally use a spell slot if I hit the number button. We don't even know these people. So I always put the ones with spell slots on the bottom. That doesn't matter. All right, Gil. But my magic. Again. Swing and swing. No. Mm. And again. I don't know. Swing and swing and Where I want to put that, honestly. Okay, he's still got four spell slots left, so we're good there for now. Still alive, so that's progress. All right, so we got a couple more people to talk to. All right, I think we did everything over here, so we'll go the other direction now. Yeah, I think we came down that way, so we'll go this way. Oh yeah, we don't have the one that wants to talk to him. Darn. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Hmm. Sure. Yeah, that's considered theft, that's considered theft. We'll talk to her, I guess, just because if you're new to the game, you haven't heard all these before, so... Goblins, druids! This grove is a death trap! Grab what you can and get out! That's my advice! Okay, then. All right. So, shall we go back that way or come this way? 
guess we'll go back this way. So I don't have to backtrack. Alright, let's hope this one works out and they don't cancel anything out this time. These boots have seen everything. You don't deserve to live. Hello, screen. I can know. Hello? Stop talking and shoot me! Where's my scene? You even can. Shut up! Okay, she just got shot for those of us who don't know what's actually happening in the scene because for some reason it's not showing up. What is going on? I have not seen this bug before. Is that everything? I think that's everything. What is going on? What is going on? I've never seen this happen before, honestly. Did Streamlabs die or what? <laughs> what is going on? It says I'm still live. Don't know why the screen's not showing up. That's very strange. I have never ever seen it do this before. I guess I'm gonna have to force close the game. Backtrack a little bit, but interesting. Interesting, because all the audio is still working just fine. That's very weird. So I guess we'll restart the game. All right, I don't know what is happening. I don't think my graphics card died. I only had, the, had this computer for a year. <laughs> okay. Wow, it is looking really strange. I don't know, it's like when I was waiting for it to pop up, like the top of the picture was cut off. Don't know what's going on. Now I'm seeing the loading screen. I know there's a delay on the stream. Hopefully you'll see it in a second. Patch six hype. Hi, Enfern. Yeah, I'm having some technical difficulties right now though. <laughs> haven't seen you in a while, but then again, I haven't streamed in a while either. So I haven't streamed this in a long time. But yeah, my game just did something really weird and the whole screen went blank. So it's very strange. Well, all I know about it is we're getting Sorcerer. I'm hoping there will be more to it than that. I mean, yeah, another another class is cool, but I'm hoping we get some other fixes, like to my favorite scene, perhaps. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we just had some technical difficulties. Like, it was earlier, it was cutting out some dialogue. And then just suddenly the screen went blank for a while, and I was like, what is going on? I had to force close the game. So it seems to me like every time... Yeah, okay, so you, would, you did see that, okay. Yeah, because... It's, I was saying earlier, I don't know if you were here then, but it seems like the closer we get to patch time, the more glitches you get. I don't know why. Because like when the patch first comes out, there seems to be very few glitches. And then the closer and closer it gets to patch time, we get start getting more glitches. I don't know why. They must be doing stuff to the live, live one without telling us or something. Okay. We got a little bit of weirdness going on here. Oh, what I do for some salt. Wow. That's really strange. I've never seen it do that before either. All right, so I'm not going to talk to these people again because we already did. It's so strange. All right, I'm going to save again right here <laughs> just in case we go in here and the game breaks again. Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. It's very, very odd. Now, can we go in here without everything, like, having a meltdown this time? Please? Pretty please? You're gonna be At the ready. Every last one of you! You don't deserve to live! Mm -hmm. I can know! Stop talking and shoot me! <laughs> if you yeah. even can! I've never played either, so anything's new to me. Because I'm not a d and or as you probably remember me saying from before. So yeah, anything's new is cool. And I have always liked magic users anyway. And I'm curious to see what the difference is between sorcerer and wizard. I know technically wizards learn their stuff, their magic, and sorcerers are born with their magic. But I'd like to see like the difference in spells and everything? stuff. 
So I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here unless they change that. Okay, so all right. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. It just th the only reason I even came in here was to get that scene where you have to decide whether to stop her or not. So is it because I didn't walk close enough that it didn't trigger that scene? So we're going to try to reload it again. I know, but it's just apparent kind of, I was like being gun shy about walking closer because of the, the glitch that happened last time. So I guess it just played out without me because I didn't walk close enough. We'll try this again. Hopefully it doesn't have a meltdown this time. <laughs> hum, hum, hum. Yeah, there's been some strange things going on in this game today. I mean, I've only played like twice since patch five. Once in my own personal playthrough and I only played up until the night of the party to see if my scene was fixed. And then I played a couple weeks ago on stream for the first part of this run through. That's all I've played since patch five. But I've not seen these issues before. All right, can we please actually get this scene without it having a fit? Forward. You don't deserve to live. Huh, her, her audio is still messed up. I remember that from before. Down. She can't fight back. <laughs> I hope so. The point. Hope third time for the the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Yeah, it's been a glitchy day in uh this place today. Alright. Uh um, do nothing. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute. What? I want to see what she had to say! I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Bye, Zaza. Bye, guys. I was just waiting to see what they were gonna. What? I was just waiting to see what they're gonna say. It had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that the Star Angel just approved of us not. Getting in their business. All right. Yes, Astarian, my dear, my darling. What do you have to say, dear? I didn't take these refugees for killers. Maybe I've misjudged them. They're still going to die, what? but at least they're willing to fight. Uh, I love the way he he enunciates everything. It's just too fun. So I can say that wasn't a fight, it was murder, or they're desperate. Desperate people do anything. I don't care if they fight or die. I just want to find a healer. Uh, I kind of want to say three, but I'm going to say they're desperate and desperate people will do anything. True. Back any beast into a corner and you'll quickly see its teeth. Hmm. Didn't, didn't you say earlier in, in the stream, careful, I bite? Hmm. Are you trying to tell me something, Astarian? By the way, nice mark on your neck. All right, anyway. <laughs> what? He said careful, I bite. Now he's talking about beasts biting. He, he, he's got a bit of a biting fetish, I think. There's nothing wrong with it. I ain't gonna kink shame. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. I know, but so is he, and it's fun. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not being evil. I'm just being apathetic. <laughs> it's a difference. Oh gosh. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, at least the scene worked. Let's hurry up and save before something else messes up. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that indeed. <laughs> what? I was just letting them chat. I wasn't going to interrupt. It wasn't any of my business. All right. Apparently they had obvious issues to deal with. I've got food. All right. Water. Anyway, What's my dagger? let's get some more supplies that are going to weigh us down so that we can't carry anything. That'll be fun. Speaking of, how many are we currently having? 134. Because I've been trying to like mostly send them to camp. So I don't get weighed down, but you got to remember to always keep 40 in there because until they fix it, it only counts the ones in your inventory when it's debating if you got enough to like rest properly. What's in here? I could use some target practice. 
All right. But at least all this booze they give you now counts as camp supplies, thank goodness. Because otherwise it just weighs you down. <coughs> okay, yes, I still got a cough, it's true. What else is new? Alright, I guess we should, like, um, get our uh, fourth person, right? My enthusiasm is overwhelming, isn't it? Okay. But we'll talk to all these other folks in case there are some new folks Very well. lurking about. Step, parry, strike. Damn it! It's just not landing. So I can say, interesting technique, having some trouble? Or, you better surrender the targets for a better fighter. <laughs> I love Larian sense of humor. Yeah, I used to call them Larian, but Neil, Neil, calls them Larian. So either it's British or it's correct, so we'll say Larian. Alright, so <laughs> I'll say, you better surrender the targets for a better fighter. You have a better way? Yes. Because I'm all ears. We need to be ready for a fight. <laughs> but I'm useless with a sword. <laughs> yeah, there is a whole lot. I was actually worried that uh, the camping change would make it impossible, but you get a whole lot. And usually it just ends up weighing you down, so I usually end up sending it to camp. But anyway, um, we can say try hitting the target, or... <laughs> I got plus three for athletics, demonstrate a swing, show him the fluidity of movement he lacks. Or plus two for insight, no wonder you're struggling, you no bounce. Space your feet farther apart. <laughs> you know what we're gonna say. <laughs> Try hitting the target. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Brace, <laughs> parry, swing. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I'll have to keep practicing. I'm wondering if there's going to be less supplies that are available once you get like into different parts of the game. But I guess we'll have to find out if we ever get to the other parts of the game. Alright. So, what else do you have to say? The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. But thanks for coming by and chatting. The stream goes so much better when I actually have people to talk to you, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, I should talk to all these people, because you never know who they're going to change stuff for. We should train against real goblins. Yeah, I'm just... In case there are new people, I'm clicking on everybody if I can. I'll be ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I see you, Will. I'm getting there. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, I am. Um, Neil, the guy who plays the star, and he does Warhammer on stream sometimes, which is another tabletop game. Okay. What is that? Why? Do you see this glitch? <laughs> The Starian's way taller than that, but there's some kind of weird glitch going on there. So, let's move on. Will. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Again. Mm -hmm. Why don't you show him how to do an Eldritch Blast, Will? That could be more useful. Just letting you know. Hey, hey, keep focus. See how I used your own force against you? Uh, I can't do it. Of course you can. It just takes time. I didn't become the Blade of Frontiers overnight. Is the stream frozen? I'm talking to Will currently, but it looks like the stream is frozen for some reason. All right, I'm gonna reload it where I'm watching it then, because it looks like it's frozen on mine. Let me check Streamlabs real quick too. Yeah, it's not frozen on Streamlabs, so it must be just on my phone. It's being a stupid little piece of crap. So I'm gonna try to reload it real quick. Okay, now it's caught up. I just had to minimize it. Anyway, Will, yeah. Um, showing these kids how to fight with the sword instead of showing them how to use powers. Got you, Will. All right. So I can say, hey, there can I have a sword? This child's too soft, you're wasting your time. Or leave. 
child is too soft. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Ignore her, kid. The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. An unknown face commands your mind. Blue skin, gnarled horns. I'll be damned to the hells. You are on the ship. A strange sensation courses through you, and Will's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Huh. No, I am not using a lid. I might need it later. For some reason. All right, so I can say I was indeed, or ship, I don't know what you mean, or I saw a creature in your thoughts, a devil, a demon, or a lithid, try peering further into his mind. I'll say, I saw a creature in your thoughts, a devil, a demon. <laughs> Keep at it, kid. A demon? <laughs> Sounds like that brain bug's really wormed its way in. We've both got parasites tickling our grey matter, and I've been having the strangest dreams. I haven't turned into a mind flayer just yet, but sooner or later, my luck will run out. Been thinking I need a healer, and I reckon you've been thinking the same. So, I can say the sooner the better, I don't need this thing bursting through my skull, or right now I have other priorities, or I hope someone in the grove might know how to heal us, or you're quite calm given the danger we're in. I want to say three or four. Three to stay on point, because people like that. Um, or four to call him on his odd behavior. We'll say four. You're quite calm, given the danger we're in. Yeah, I've heard the stories. Wait long enough, and a squiddy bursts out of us. I've been waiting for this druid Halsin to return. They say he's pretty powerful. He could probably help us. Problem is, the goblins have nabbed him. We better go find him before we start growing talons and tentacles. Mm -hmm. So I can say we can look for health together. Come with me if you want, but I won't stand for trouble. Or for now, you're on your own. We'll say, come with me if you want, but I won't stand for trouble. Considering you're already being squirrely and avoiding things when I tell you things that you should be answering, but you're not. All right, so come with me if you want, but I won't stand for trouble. Excellent idea. But, I have a condition. Of course you do. <laughs> okay. So I can say go on, or now condition, you cannot be serious, or good for you, I don't care. <laughs> we'll say now condition, you cannot be serious. Look at these kids. <laughs> They've no chance on the road, not while goblins infest it. I've got the grandest of plans. You and me, we kill the goblin horde's leaders. That should scatter the buggers. Frontier justice, I call that. What say you? I say that's more of an idea than a plan, William. But hey, whatever. All right, so I can say um, I'm on board. Let's clear the road for the tieflings, or I'll think about it, but no promises. Or no, the tieflings are not my concern. Or go to my camp and wait for me. Or for now, you're on your own. Um, I'll say I'll think about it, but no promises. Uh, I could have used a bit more enthusiasm. Tough. No matter. It's time for some old-fashioned hero work. Gale approved, apparently. All right, so I'm gonna save real Any quick, and then I gotta sure. level William here up. All right. Yes, I know it's Will. Why? Look at this. He's like squatting. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what is going on there. The star in your ring. All right, so agonizing and repelling, no question. You, I, everybody loves that. I don't. Um, hellish rebuke. Replacement spell. Um, me, 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 me. I guess I'll just leave those. All right. Oh, you mean you're a warlock and you have powers that you should have been using at the gate, but you weren't. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think I gotta level him again, right? Yes, I do. Mm, 
Yes, Misty Step is very important. I like having that on every character I can possibly get it on, so. Um. <sighs> um. Let's see. Whole person is kind of nice, so. The yeah, armor of Agapus is nice too, and so is Arms of Hadar. But I think Hold Person I would probably get more use out of. And Arms of Hadar, I, that inflicts that on people, your own team, doesn't it? I think that is a friendly fire thing. So I guess we'll get rid of that one. And go with Hold Person. Alright. Quick day. Yeah, I know. I don't know what is the, what this is about. All right. Well, I gotta fix your stuff. All right. So let's see. He's got two. He's got two. I've got two. Well, Gal, you can give one of those to um, Will here. Again. Swing and swing. Okay, so we've got two of those. Two of those. Two of those. And I've got like fifteen or thirteen or something. Okay, so swing and swing and oh. organize stuff a bit. Mm -hmm. the getting to me. You go here. No, I'm not trying to cast it right now, buddy. Okay, um. Okay. I'm probably not gonna keep this too long, but oh, what do I do for some salt? All right, so well, your entire body. You need to get this turned on. Get your little bro here. Hey, look, now they know you're a warlock. I blew your cover, fucker. Stop having your identity crisis, Will. You're a warlock. Use your damn powers. Okay, anyway. So, can I give it a real save now that we got our final companion? What's yuck about it? Alright. Sorry, but it irks me that he doesn't use his powers in that gate fight. He did for a while, and then he stopped again. Alright. Now, sorry, are you done doing your, your uh, exercising? Okay, good. All right, so which direction shall we go next? Guess we could go talk to these people over here, just in case somebody hasn't heard what they have to say. I'll see if we can find you a dagger, child. One in denial. Yeah. Pals, I know. We can't just leave. The kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. <laughs> That's fine too. <laughs> that was funny. So I can say nothing, or I can say get out while you can, the goblins will be back. Persuasion, I plus three, should all stay a single blade. Can make a difference, or Ranger, I'd choose the wilderness over the dangers of a city any day. Stay. Mm, or leave. Mm -hmm. uh, meh? Meh? I'm just gonna say nothing. Roland's <laughs> right, sis. We should leave while we still can. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Ah, oh, fine! Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright, so shall we go talk to some critters? Oh yeah, this dude's here too. This is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. Uh. You should clear off while you can. Yes, the longer I talk, the more I cough. Oh, gee, look who's sitting there. Alright, so. Where is my sick animals? That does use a spell slot. 
All right, animals, is, what do you have to say? Another one. What are you under there, then? Ant. Yeah, I'm going to. All rocks. Do that, that's why I'm talking to them. Because mm -hmm. I think if you don't talk to them and then you check it out, it doesn't even let you click on it, so you kind of have to talk to them first. I think that's how it works. Unless they changed it, but we'll see. All right, so, what are you under there, then? An ant or an Uh... I can say, what are you talking about? Orcs disguise me well, yes. Ant, are you calling some all? Or maybe an ox, too. <laughs> maybe I'm an ox, too. You have the smell. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. But I do not think so. You are not like the keepers here. They become oh, okay. birds. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this. To hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hair. And I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Really now? So, I can say, shiny bits, the tieflings put something in your hay, or cheer up, you do a noble thing, carrying burdens for those who can't, or you complain a lot, or leave. Well, in the interest of certain roguelike individuals, we'll say, shiny bits, the tieflings put something in your hay. Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. Not clever. What? I love talking to the animals. Sometimes They're so funny. I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for what? them on the other end. <laughs> Lovely. Oh gosh. I don't think this one has much to say. Be gone. I am hungry. No, you're hangry. There we go. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress, and we're no warriors. So what's in there? Stuffs. Okay, also, I'm going to send some of this stuff to camp, because I'm getting a bit up there in the uh, weight limits. Yeah, Shadowheart, I hear ya. Does it even open? Yeah, I hear ya. Okay. Is this one I put my keys in? Yes, okay. Just a little bit of inventory management real quick while I'm thinking about it. Why is this considered a story item? Screw it, I don't want it. Alright. I don't These remember what you said. God. Shadow! You're dialogue hogging even when you're not in my group. Jeez, girl. Now I think this is empty now. Yeah, this one's empty. You can have that, my dear. Or there must be something I can learn from it. Yes, I heard you, dear. I heard you. Okay. Um. I think that's about. Oh, okay, hey, he's got some stuff too. Because if you look up at the top, it's only counting the ones we've got on us, which is. Kind of annoying. No At least I thought that it only counts the ones that were on us. Maybe they did fix that. Because that didn't seem to go down any. Because before it would only count the ones that are on you. Maybe they did actually fix that. That would be freaking nice. Alright, anyway. Save again. See who else we shall chat with. Hmm. This little kid who says such interesting and intelligent things. What are you doing here? I didn't. Wasn't he trying to talk to you? Me. Excuse she you. She hastily tucks away an ornate box, one covered in strange symbols. I was not you don't you. understand. I was complaining. If about I you wanted being a here. tail, I'd kill a cat. Mm hmm. Honey, I was just complaining about the fact that you're here. So how does that? Translate to, are you following me? No, I'm not freaking following you. I was complaining about you not shutting up even when you're not in my group. I was not following you. Weirdo. All right. Anyway, I have more important things to do than follow you. Surviving for one. It's just a coincidence I'm not following you. Or you'd kill a cat. Or <laughs> what was that box you were playing with before? Um. 
I think I'm just gonna say one. I have more important things to do than follow you. Surviving for one. Fair point. <laughs> Survival is the crux of it for now. I suppose you came here for the same reason I did. So I can say, oh yes, maybe you suppose too much. <laughs> or I'm here for anything that helps me stay alive, shelter, supplies, allies, or you mean a healer. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm here for anything that helps me stay alive, shelter, supplies, allies. Of course. But what you really need, what both of us need, is a healer. But we'll have no such luck in this place, from what I've learned of it. So I can say we should join forces, better odds of survival, or if we survive the crash, there might be others found any, or there has to be someone around this place who can help us, or what was that box you were playing with before? I kind of want to ask her about the box, but... Um... If we survive the crash, there might be others found any. No, but I haven't looked either. Of course you have Staying haven't. alive kept me busy. Well, you are a cleric. I guess it's a little difficult for you. Um, I said nothing. Okay, <laughs> See, we should join forces, better odds for survival, there has to be someone around this place who can help us, or what was that box you were playing with before? Sure, we'll ask her about the box, she'll love it. She'll love it. So, what was that box you were playing with before? A toy. It's not important. Hmm, yeah, it doesn't sound like it's important. Alright, fine. Nice chat. Bye! Alright, kid, you have anything fascinating to say? Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. Okay. <laughs> gonna turn around to see what he's looking at. I can say, are you all right? I'm gonna turn around. See what he's you looking see at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Okay. So, I got plus one, but an advantage. Examine the rocks for anything out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. Alright then. That was a vast diversity in roles. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle though. No way to open it. Okay. That was fascinating. Let's move on. Back to my compulsive saving, since I actually passed another roll, somehow. They need to fix that, too. Used to be able to reach that. Oh, Astarian. Would you like to open this box? What? What? I said nothing. <gasps> Alright. There must be something I can learn from it. Ooh, 15. Ouchies. When did that get so high? Look, don't take your eyes off my hands. Chase! <laughs> Wow. Whoa. Wow. I know. Try again, I guess? Closer. Ugh, no matter. I don't know why I'm bothering. Sure, things we'll try again. Damn things safe. I need to go get that guidance locket, which is what we're doing after we leave here. Third time's the charm. Again. All right, finally. I don't remember that used to being that that being hot that blah, 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 that being that high Looking before. Ahead. What is this on me? Oh, speak with the animals. I say, what is that? All that for twenty-three gold? Come on, really? Blasted thing! Shut up! How do you open it? All Does right. Does it even open? Guess. Just in the interest of having all the dialogue. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Yeah, I don't think so. You're a little con artist. I'm not talking to you. Alright. <laughs> oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. Mm-hmm. So what's your side of the business? What? Um... I'm the guard, so don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Okay, honey. All right, shall we move on to the <laughs> the extra fun people down here? Please, last room. 
Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. <laughs> Hi. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now Emote, get back. yes. <laughs> oh, let me through, Mad Rashem, or I'll rip your damn throat. I only got like six emotes, but <sighs> since I don't stream full time, so. Yeah, I only got affiliate in April and haven't really been able to stream much. So. All right, so Bear's being a big poo. Guess we'll talk to you. We need to get Arabella out. Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake! Ugh. I just want to check Streamlabs real quick here. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so, uh... Saw what happened. Why the druid's holding your daughter? You need to be careful. That bear would have torn you to shreds. Don't really want to say either of those, but we'll just if I, in the interest of more information. What? Damn it! We could have. Why is it doing that? I didn't click anything. It I'd did that with Octa too. I didn't click on anything. I'll rush the guards. You sprint past. I won't risk you too, love. We'll find another way. That was so weird. I didn't click I it, and it just like palms. moved on. Is there now a time limit on dialogue? I was gonna say, uh, what the, why are they holding your daughter? But it just like so skipped well past. Last time. So weird. Do all the damn rituals you want. We're not okay. living till it's safe. These boots have seen everything. Not a very good guard. I walked right past you, babe. Okay. Come, Magrin, give her a chance. You get back. Excuse you? Alright, I'm afraid now, because it seems to be jumping past the moats, so I can say. If, or not emotes, <laughs> jumping past dialogue. Okay, if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins, so I now go where I please. Or why what's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by or ignore them and proceed and let you see? I like usually moving the mouse through them because it's easier to read in the yellow for me. But for some reason, it's been skipping past stuff when I move the mouse over because it's happened twice already today. So if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment. Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't. That was so weird. I did not click anything when I was talking to. What's her face's mom? Guess we should talk to Volo since he's standing right here, huh? My good friend. Really? You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Okay, so I can say fine, ask your question, and there's no overstating my disinterest. I've no time for your questions or leave. I'm gonna go with, and there's no overstating my disinterest. I've no time for your questions. I'll make it very quick. <laughs> Hand to heart. <laughs> Fine, ask your questions. Glory. See, now, now I'm using the numbers to pick them because I don't trust the mouse anymore. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. So I can say common variety goblins led by a lash or flanked by booyogs. They were goblins, same as all the others, lowly and vile. Give an exact description. Or goblins, hardly they were shapeshifted divas. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one because it's funny. <laughs> goblins, hardly they were shapeshifted divas. Ye gods! Yeah, he's gonna lie Can anyway. Be? How terribly compelling! <laughs> and the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? So I can say dragon, there wasn't any dragon, or uh, it was brass, no doubt about it. Or I can say, I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? I'm going to go with that one. I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name like a war cry, or I don't think so. I was concentrating on that dying. So, yes, they call out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. Mm -hmm. I've interrogated one, 
a captive in this very camp. About her. She reports they've abandoned their god, McGlubbiot, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Such a scandal. All right. So I can say scandal, petty drama, maybe. Bah. Or goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment, or hold your tongue. I'm just going to hold my tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Yes, I realize I could be getting a lot more dialogue, but like I said, I'm role-playing. I'm role-playing, folks. It's a role-playing game. All right. I've already heard all these anyway, so I've gotten all the information. It's just I'm playing a certain way right now. All right, so um, I can say be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy or wait about our conversation earlier. Why the dragon or what brought you to the wilds in the first place or leave? Mm -hmm. One or four. Well, just to show him that he's being kind of dumb, we'll say, uh, be careful, goblins aren't known for mercy. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you have a quick tongue and an invisibility potion stashed in one's back pocket? Listen, just because I enjoyed a star in saying that he bites doesn't mean I want to hear about your tongue the whole well. Out of the two of you, only one of you is going to get my attention, I swear. Oh, by the way, I can talk to you, huh, Bear? What's up? Just a moment. <laughs> We're going to freeze first. See, the bear knew. He said, just a moment. dx is going to freeze. Then we'll get back to this the story. This recording my story. <laughs> I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. I am curious as to why they, they changed uh, Vola's outfit, too. Seems like an odd thing to do. But, you know, doesn't really matter to me either way. I just wonder why they chose to do that. Alright, I think there's another bear down there, but I can almost see... I like talking to the animals because they're fun. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Okay, who are you looking for? Or you're the saddest bear I've ever seen. This is depressing. <laughs> oh, God. Two is funny. But in the interest of more information, we'll say, who are you looking for? Master, he left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. Did they change the water? It looks like bluer than it used to. Or maybe I'm imagining it because I haven't played since July. But anyway, um, so I can say, don't worry, he'll be back. Or you look strong, why not go after him? Or sounds like he's dead. <laughs> At least. We'll say, you look strong, why not go after him? No. The woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately. And I was never the strong one. Oh, poor bear. You're quite the sad bear. All right. Let's see, who else shall we chat with before we go and do the fun part? Um, let's see. I'm not really going to talk to any of these people because they don't really talk to you anyway. They all just say random crap in a random language, so there's really no point in clicking on them. Mm. I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. Could you move just a little bit? I need to use the elevator. <sighs> okay. Freezy time again. My goodness, DX. You're working overtime here. Alright, I'm not actually going to use the elevator, but I just wanted to get her stupid butt off there. So I can use it. Shall I want to? Something good here, I hope. Mm -hmm. Alright, bird. Should speak up. What do you to say? Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is this bird Is Scottish? The coin in the middle? So I can say it's slightly off. Push it a bit to the right or stop fussing. It looks fine. 
or plus one deception, I'd leave it out, it's too dull. <laughs> or intimidation, kick at the bird trying to sh 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 yeah, scare it away. I got plus one for that too. We'll say, um, I'm probably gonna fail this, but I'd leave it out, it's too dull. 10, well, 9. Oh. Dice do not like me today. Fine. It's not. And you better keep <laughs> those fingers <laughs> far away. Oh, shut up. Snobby bird. I was just trying to get some approval. <laughs> This one, not stilling. That one, stilling. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to this bird before he... She, it, flies off. I think it's a girl bird. Find our master. Return to me then. Oh, it's not going to let me click on the bird? Tell only me. Understand? Oh, I could talk to this bird. Maybe you got to talk to her first. Fly safe. Speak. So, I can say, what were you saying to that bird? Or I'm looking for a healer, help me narrow the search, or are you helping to prepare for the ritual, or leave? I'm looking for a healer, help me narrow the search. Find Annette in her room, through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Alright. <laughs> Don't really have anything else to say to her? Yeah, bird took off, can't talk to it now. Hello, piglet. I thought you were housey. The boar prances about, <coughs> haunches clenching <coughs> and unclenching impatiently. <coughs> Where's housey? <coughs> Promise me a mate. Uh, okay, pig. <laughs> Issues? All right. Let's see. Yes, I like talking to the animals, though. They are funny. All right, so is there anything we should do before we go in here? Okay, you've got four spell slots. You've got one. All right, I guess we'll save before we go in here. <laughs> All right. Shall we go in here and see what fun is in store? Now they've changed this so many times that I'm trying to remember exactly what is the correct options this time because they've changed this a lot. We will imprison the thief under guard of my serpent. With haste. When we cast out the rest, she may join. Okay. I'm sorry. Wasn't actually trying to talk to any of you yet. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Okay. So I can say, thief, poison, what's this girl's actual crime? Or imprison her, she's just a child, or do nothing, or one of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. So, one of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. We will speak soon enough. <laughs> First... Judgment must be passed. Uh -huh. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The child's in danger. Do something, I beg you. Why don't you do something, Will? You've been living here with them this whole time. Why are you telling me, bro? I just got here. You do something. Sorry. Okay, anyway. Um, so. See, I'm so scared it's going to start skipping dialogue again, but I got to check these to see what I got. Minus one for don't druids cherish harmony. Jelling the girl disrupts nature's balance. Plus three for... Release her and I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Or tell the snake to be at ease. The girl must not be harmed. Keep silent or prepare to attack. I'm going to go with tell the snake to be at ease. The girl must not be harmed. Silence. 
I answer only to mistress. Well, you guys have a lot in common. So. Mm, yes, I know I've got plus three for persuasion, but. And I've got minus one for that, so I probably fell it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, see, they've changed things so much that I'm not sure if I should still avoid picking this one. But this one I've got negative one for. I'm probably going to fail this, but I'm going to go with nature, even though I've got negative one for it, just because I'm not sure how recently they've updated the approval guides. So, um, whew, I'm probably going to fail this. Don't druids cherish harmony, telling the girl disrupts nature's balance. Oof, I need a 14. Yow. Oh, okay. Now the dice suddenly like me again? I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. At least I won't get a lecture from Gell or Will now. Sif, Sif, deal out to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen would... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I can't believe I actually passed that. I really did not expect to. All right. Yeah. I'm not playing this game the way I should for my role-playing purposes. Gail, what do you want? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. Yippee. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Really now, Gil? Alright, so I can say, putting a child on display like that was a monster, so I'm glad we intervened. Forgiveness means nothing if she doesn't learn from a mistake, or sounds like you have something to confess. I think it always sounds like you have something to confess. Ha! And you don't. You're wholly without vice or sin, what? with the occasional lapse in judgment. I've only been fantasizing no. about certain pale men. I haven't done you don't nothing. You strike me as quite that boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Gil, shut up. Shut you mouth. Shut you mouth. All right. We got neutral, neutral, neutral. <laughs> Not getting anywhere here. Not getting anywhere at all. Yeah, I know. This is a tongue to Kaga. I don't want to talk to Kaga. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Yeah, thanks. So I can say that Kaga seems dangerous, and if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Or I've heard there's some sort of ritual going on. I'll go with, and if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. Sounds she like a you problem. Tieflings driven out, or worse. All right, so. Say, Kaga seems happy to roll the roost. Who's your real leader? I'm looking for Nettie, or how did Kaga take over the whole group? Grove. We'll go with, I'm looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I have to say one of those? I can't just leave? All right. So, Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Holson. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. It's a mad world. All right. Anyway, um. Yet she failed. What? So I can say if no one's looking for Halston, I could do it. Or <laughs> sounds like I better leave. What? <laughs> Role playing. Sounds like I better leave. It's not Korga desires. <laughs> Still gonna look for Halston. Come on. Sylvanus wants. See, that's the trick with certain people. Stay close. You don't actually say you're going to help, but you can still help. You just don't say you're going to help. It's the trick, folks. All right. This wolf, I'm sure, is pleasant to chat with. 
Ah, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? So I can say, relax, no one is here to hurt you. Have you met these people, though? Come on. Or who's been pestering you? I'll teach them a lesson, or I just want to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. Or leave. We'll go with, I just want to give you my smell. I'll leave you be. No, wait. You smell fresh. Thanks. Safe. You can stay, if you must. Apparently he likes my smell better than the ox did. Yay. Speaking of smelly things, dog, get out of this room. Nobody invited you, Burrow. See, I opened the door because it's too hot with it closed, and then the dog's in here bugging me. My housemate's dog. This dude, he's super hot, but he's... Yeah, he's unpleasant, I believe. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. You know, you were hotter before you talked, darling. Okay. This other dude, his voice is just weird. He sounds like he's got a, like a perpetual cold or something. He's running out the door anyway. I guess I have to talk to Kaga now, don't I? On my way. If I must talk to her. Actually, I guess I could talk to the rats. If not over, then through. Yes, I prefer talking to the rats to Kaga. Um, hello. This is Pinta. The rat doesn't respond. It simply bares its teeth. You got another rat's tail in your face, too. Okay, that was Pinta. This is Ren. The rat glares at you, but says nothing. They're so friendly. Where's Oladan? The rat watches your movements, but does not speak. Is it sad that I've played this game so much that I know the rats' names before? Okay. Yeah, you. What do you want? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Well. Monster? <laughs> Too kind. A demon, more like. Well, then she's just your type, eh, Will? I said nothing. I said nothing. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so... Only a monster would threaten a child, or you're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required, or honestly, I just want to see what would happen. Okay, we'll go with, honestly, I just want to see what would happen. Ah, you <laughs> don't see a monster. You just look at me through one's eyes. You are like the devils. Oh, shut Where up. tread, chaos follows. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite has resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm. Free of intruders. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I thought you liked her. You just called her a demon. I thought you were, like, hitting on her, chatting her up and stuff. What? I said nothing. Okay, anyway. Um, so, I can say this right must be bo born of powerful magic, or you can't just force these people out. We're free from the threat of little children. Or do what you want. It's none of my concern. Or leave. We're gonna go with free from the threat of little children. She stole the idol of Sylvanus during prayer, and interrupted the rite. Why? I don't know or care. I don't want blood on my hands. Alright, fine. To defend our home. I... See, this is the thing. If I don't say two, am I gonna get told I have to talk to her again? Because I think I've tried this before and I just left. But if I don't say two, I think I, it, she stays on my quest log thing, and I still have to talk to her. So I kind of have to say one or two instead of just leaving. So I guess I'll... Ugh. Astarian, can, can you walk away for a second? <sighs> Alright, we'll say you can't just force these people out. I suppose that's what I'm supposed to say to you now, right? I am first druid. <laughs> okay. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. You were insulting me a second ago, the babe. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Um, um, so I can say, then it seems... 
I'd best speak to Zevlu or Prattle you want to throw. She's not my concern or attack. I don't really want to take any of those. Um. I guess we'll go with two prattle all you want the refugees aren't my concern then they soon know the sting of my venom surprise i'm getting Get out disapproval we have no more business all right so let's just look at this um quest log for a second isn't okay jay apparently i thought was journal but it's not okay um all right so Yeah. I'm not seeing anything in there about still having to talk to her. So I guess we're fine. Okay. Alright, let's save again. Ugh. Not really. Uh, there's just... I mean, some people might think what I'm doing now is evil. I'm just being apathetic, though. Um, I just don't see any point to doing an evil playthrough other than to see what happens. Because I know, um, because it's like, the goblins don't give you any decent reason at all to side with them. There's like no logical reason other than to see what happens. And also, the, pro the other problem I have with doing an evil playthrough is it tends to get a bunch of NPCs killed, which means less vendors, and that's a big pain in the butt, so... But people are quite think that what I'm doing now is an evil playthrough because I'm not sitting there and being goody goody. Oh, I'm gonna help everybody and everybody is just gonna be happy and live forever. I'm not doing that kind of playthrough, but I'm doing kind of a neutral playthrough, if you will. So yeah, I I just have never seen the point to doing an evil playthrough because logically speaking, they've never given me any reason. The goblins don't give you any reason to want to side with them. Literally, they there's no reason to do it. If you're logically speaking as a character in this world, they there's no there's no good reason to take their side. And I'm not really like going out of my way to help the other ones either. I'm just trying to go like a middle road kind of thing. I'm like I'll help people, but I'm not going to be all goody two shoes kissing their ass about it, but I'll do stuff I need to do to get to where I need to get to. That's how I usually try to play, but yeah, I've never seen a point in doing an evil playthrough, and like I said, I don't like getting vendors killed, because it is a big pain in the ass if you don't have vendors. I think I started one off stream, an evil playthrough, like right before one of the patches, and I played for like an hour and a half before I had to go eat or something, and then the patch was the next day, so, this will <laughs> and it deleted it, so. The rituals but yeah, finished. logically speaking, there's no knows the good best. reason to side with the goblins at all. They don't give you any incentive, unless you want to see the uh, Minthara love scene, which I heard is interesting. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, uh, just logically speaking, that they're, they're just I don't see any reason to pick their side because they don't give you any reason to. Swift as my feet can carry me. All right, can I talk to this bird? A the bird? A Please. I'm resting. Mm-hmm. So I can say, something took a chunk out of you, what happened? Or I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, or leave. We'll say, something took a chunk out of you, what happened? The bird says nothing, trying to rest. So I can prod the bird's wing, or say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, or leave. Bert, I'm trying to get some answers here. Talk to me. Big dog. No. I got too close. Hmm. So I can say, where did you see these gnolls? Or I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you or leave. So where did you see these gnolls? Hills. Near. Road. The bird lapses into silence, her head lolling to the side. Hey, I'm talking to you, bird. What road? So I can prod her again. Or, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you or leave. I'm gonna prod her again. <laughs> she lies limply on the table, completely still. Aw, poor birdie. 
Maybe you should have talked quicker. Alright, anyway. <laughs> what? I wanted information. I'm trying to save people. Uh-huh. I need to know where these gnolls are. Don't even have any loot, silly bird. Okay. <laughs> see? I'm sure some people would say, oh, see that you're doing an evil playthrough right now because you poked the bird. It's like, it's a bird. I was trying to get information because these people sure as I can give me any good information. You saw Kaga, their uh, leader. All right, Nettie, what? Poor thing. She fought as hard as she could. It's the best any of us can do, I um. Now, what was it you needed? So I'm looking for Nettie, or I need help now, or healing. I hope you're good enough to cure what ails me. So we'll go with healing. I hope you're good enough to cure what ails me. Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. Hey, that's real life, babe. This is supposed to be fantasy. Okay, um, alright, so I can say, no good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head or more than tired, something crawled into my eye. Right, yes, I'm very tired indeed. So I'll say, more than tired, something crawled into my eye. Crawled in? Bit Some of sort of bug? There. Or, wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? Did you watch the first one? All slime, teeth, and tentacles. Okay, so I can say... You know them? Can you help me? What other kinds are there? Not like a frog that's in my eye. <laughs> or actually, never mind. I don't get help elsewhere. I have to. What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. Do I have to? I might be able to help. Yes, but... We need to be quick. Yes, Nettie is this way is better than she used to be. Before patch four, it was a nightmare talking to this chick. All right. One day I'll catch a break. I think I did save, right? Always be saving. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Hmm. So I can say... The drow and I have the same kind of parasite. I'm hoping for a less grave cure, so you killed him and laid him out on a table. Or is everything being captured by mind flayers? He's a taste and think it was a common experience. <laughs> I love the, the sarcastic, funny ones. I honestly do. It's not just because Astarian likes them. They're really <laughs> quite amusing. So, <laughs> I'm going to say, is everyone being captured by mind flayers these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. This, this pause needs shortened, because it's way awkward. She needs to respond quicker. So I hope they, they fix that. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. So... I can say thank you, I'll take anything that can help, or what's that plant, will it help, or just hurry up and cure me, I don't have time to chat. I'll say, what's that plant, will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? See, I like this. Now she actually closer, talks you to you instead of just like this thorn in the, the way she used to be. It's Kalimvor's kiss, a briar from the Dale lands, and a deadly poison. Lovely. Yeah, that's right, Glarator. What you trying to pull, short stack? All right, so <laughs> what is this? I came to you for help or put the briar down and we'll talk. Try to poison me and you'll regret it or this is a mistake I should go. Put the briar down and we'll talk. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? So, I can say I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Like these dudes right here, in case you want to try anything. Um, or, <laughs> I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me, it saved my life. Or, an intellect devourer spoke to me as if it were own, one of its own. Or, no, nothing strange, I just want it out of my head. Or, I don't trust you, I'm leaving. Um, I'm going to go with, I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Yep. 
Not that the others know their victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. So, I can say on a mine player ship I was kidnapped and infected, or I don't know, I just woke up with it, or you're asking a lot of questions, or put the thorns down and I'll tell you. We're gonna go with put the thorns down and I'll tell you. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. But you're being I annoying. To be sure. So tell me, where'd you get that thing? Less annoying than she was before, but still. So, I can go with uh, on a mine player ship I was kidnapped and infected, I don't know, I just woke up with it or leave. Guess we'll go with the truth. Uh, on a mind flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. What is that noise? In the if background? you transform here, we're <laughs> all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Thanks, babe. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. But I thought you British folks said wyvern. She's not actually British, but I thought everybody over there said wyvern. I've always said wyvern. Sorry, back to the point in hand. Okay, um, so... Oh, I can say more poison I would prefer to cure. I swear, or I'll right hand it over, and I'm not taking poison from one I can't trust. Say more poison, I would have preferred a cure. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now. Yeah, you didn't do used to I do have that. Your word or not? <laughs> I still have nightmares about pre patch four and Eddie. I will never forget. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, um, I swear I'll right hand it over or no, I'm not taking a poison from a woman I can't trust. Uh, all right, hands it over. Swear it. No! I don't want to get disapproval from the one who doesn't want me to die. Fine. I swear, but I'm going to make... I'm going to cross my fingers as I swear at you. And then I'm going to swear at you some more. All right, so, fine. I swear. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I swear. I hope it doesn't come Look what to you that. did. Look what you did. Thank you. Here. Look what you did. You know, I've spent my life treating folk, <laughs> and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Does people keep opening the doors? That because you is? should all be changing. <laughs> there should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. I'm still ticked at you. You made my man angry because he doesn't want me to kill myself. And now he's all pissy because he thinks I'm going to. Yeah, I'm mad at you now. I'll punt you across the room, babe. All right, so anyway. um, What do you mean should be changing? Or you must learn something from studying them or just tell me if there's a cure or not. I'm gonna go with, you must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Mm-hmm. So I can say, uh, so you think it's only a matter of time, or that's good news? Or you said you were tracking other victims, did they change? Um, I'll go with, uh, you said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So, I can say, what do you want me to do? Or so, go and get him. Or you think he's still alive? <laughs> I'll say, so, go and get him. I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. 
Technically speaking, I mean, Excuse they will kill someone carrying their parasite. So you think? If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Hmm. Yeah. Sounds great. Goblins. We love them. Alright, so I can say, alright, I'll find Halson, or it sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me, or you sure he can cure me, or that sounds like suicide, I won't do it. I'll say, it sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fates dealt you. Um, so I can say, I'll write up on house and you're sure you can cure me, or that sounds like suicide, I won't do it. Um, guess I'll say you're sure he can cure me. I can't make any promises. Thanks. This is like nothing we've seen before. <laughs> but I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vial's your only option. The vial that has my man mad at me now? That vial? Alright. Sorry, he's not my man yet. I can hope. Someday. <gasps> if you don't make me keep checking him off. Alright, um. Fine, alright, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. Yeah, they've been so nice. I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Uh-huh. Sounds like fun. Oh! The bay wants to talk. I'm sorry, she made me do it. All right, I'm gonna stay right, right here, and then we'll see what Astarian has to say. Nicely done. She actually believed you'd take the poison. Ah. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> I can say I'd rather start on my own hand than turn to one of those things where it won't come to that. I'm not going to transform, or people believe anything that makes them feel better. We'll say, people will believe anything that makes them feel better. Well said. Let's drop that vial down the next well we find. And with that merry song in our hearts, let's go find this house in the That merry song in our hearts? Oh, he's so fun. All right, he's just fun. All right, actually, I am going to run into the other room real quick. The dogs are having fits, so I got to go deal with them. I will be back in a minute. Stay put if you're here, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, I am back. Hopefully you can hear me. Did I miss anything exciting? All right, um, so let's check this out. Neutral, neutral, neutral. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere. All right. So now what else do we have to do while we're here? Um, 
I think we have to go talk to Zevler, and that's about it. I think that's the last thing we gotta do. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to Arabella's parents. I think that's all. Very well. I'm surprised nobody's complained about being tired yet. It's been a while since we went to camp. Moving in. Okay. Oh yeah, we didn't talk to this guy because he's running around in circles before. Kind of like he is doing now. Dude. Don't waste a step. Do you hold still? I want to have a word. Fine. I won't talk to you. I'm gonna chase your ass around all day. What? You gonna talk now? Nope. Fine. Screw you then. He doesn't have anything interesting to say anyway. Okay. <laughs> all right. So. I think we got all the animals, right? We talked to all the animals. We talked to all the people, pretty much, except the ones in the middle who don't really talk to you. So I think we can just go talk to Zevlor, and then we should be done with this place. How much farther can I go? Oh no, that's right, Arabella's parents. Arabella's parents. Where's the stairs at now? Over that way, I think. It's a big circle, okay? Arabella's parents, then Zevlor. Okay. Isn't she supposed to be with them? Something's on my mind. You ever scare me like that again? And it wasn't there I'll a second ago. Feed you to a knoll. <laughs> Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little mm -hmm. Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, we'll come running. No matter what. Mm -hmm. So I can say I hope we'll meet again under better s Again! I have to make some new rings soon. I'm nearly out. That's the third time today. It's done that. Where it just decides, okay, you're done talking now. Will got something. Snake Whisperer, protect Arabella from Kaga and her serpent. So we got another inspiration point for that. Like, now the supplies... Didn't the supplies say like 145 before? So apparently they are only counting the ones in the inventory. But yeah, that's the third time today it's just decided to skip past the dialogue for no apparent reason. But it's not really worth starting over in my opinion for that one because you know apparently it chose whichever one gets them to give us the necklace I don't think I've talked to these people yet but yeah they yeah I don't think they say much but we could help each other fight the goblins together instead these fools are trying to chase us away yeah, they're just complaining about the lovely druids. Okay. Yeah, I heard you, Shadowheart. Okay. Which way is Devlor's room? It's around here somewhere. It's not up there. Keep your feet planted. It's here somewhere. There it is. I think he's in here, right? Okay. Alrighty. Breathe deep and move. Yes, I like third person, so I always go into third person when I'm playing. Hey, we got a disarm kit. Could have used that it's a little inside. earlier in the chapel. I think I got everything here, right? Why are you guys running? Why are they running? The gate needs fortification. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. <sighs> we might need it. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me loot all your stuff, then I'll get around talking to you folks. Have to keep going. Because for some reason it doesn't count as theft in this room. I don't question it. I guess because the tieflings don't count. 
according to the druids, so that's why none of this counts as theft. I don't think there's anything in here anyway. It's locked. If only I knew somebody with magic fingers. Keep a blade close. Mm hmm So he needs a five? Thank you. Thank you, dear. No one back home will ever believe this. Was that in there before? I don't remember seeing that before. They did say they changed some of the loot. Alright, Zev, what do you have to say? Or you could just run away With again. Seems like a good moment to talk. Now we are finished. I heard what Excuse me. Okay, they've gotta fix this because this did not happen before. Why are they like running in circles and shit? I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? So, I can say your people need to leave, I can help, or can you delay the ritual, or you have to resist, or best of luck with that, there's nothing to do with me. Uh, I guess we'll say, can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Mm, I guess I can, well, I can say, then why don't you get rid of her or you need to cut your losses and run, I'll help. Well, I'll say this, the first one, just because that's what they need to do. Okay, so then why don't you get rid of her? A low thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that, but they've already let you pass once. Did we just start playing Hitman instead? Alright, so I can say, what's it worth to you, leave it to me, or I'm not some murderer for hire? What's it worth to you? To get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not... Leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Yeah, I might get around to killing her someday. Or I might not, because I don't want to get vendors killed. Because that's what happens when you attack Taga. I've done it before. Everybody in the whole place starts fighting. And then you lose vendors, and it sucks. Okay, I normally wouldn't pick all this up, but since it counts as camp supplies... I wasn't trying to drink it! What the hell? I trying to pick it up! Great, now I'm drunk. Wonderful. Can let me drink it now? I'm trying to pick it up for camp supplies, not drink it! What the fuck? Oh, gosh. getting drunk. Fine! That's perfectly normal behavior in the middle of a war. Oh my goodness gracious. Will, can you tell your imp to get out of my way? I'm trying to click on things. This stuff's really heavy too, so I'm probably gonna end up having to send it to camp. See, normally I wouldn't even care about any of this, but since it does count as camp supplies now. And we'll probably stop at the vendors before we leave, and I gotta go get that guidance locket. Dancing lights, never gonna use that. Yeah, I suppose I can put it on Will for now, but I'm sure I'll replace it with something. Okay. See? Now it's showing it. 
I don't know. Half the time it says one thing, half the time it says the other thing, so they need to work on that. All right. <laughs> Get all this stuff out of here because it's way too heavy. All right, so. Oh, yeah, you can have that too. All right, so we're going to put this on his hot Hello bar. Again. I forgot my name again. It happens. Um. Yeah. Something. Something. So, yeah. Um. Something. Faded yeah. Already. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're supposed to. Yeah. Necklace. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Starian, you keep distracting me. Hello again. Yes. Hello again, indeed. Still All right. alive, so that's progress. Okay. I think that's everything we need to do in here. Why the hell are you up here, babe? You watching me steal your booze? And, yeah, you can go up there, but I really don't think there's much going on up here. I think I already got all this stuff. Just in case. Yeah, I think I did. Um, excuse you. Go away. Alright, I guess you can talk to her. She is really pretty for a tiefling. She's like, I think, the prettiest tiefling in the game. I mean, I played tieflings before because you get extra um, dialogue if you play a tiefling. You used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us, but at least we can put up a fight. Yeah, you can say, not with that attitude, fight and win, or trying to kill over with the first blade drawn, or will you? I don't see many soldiers. Guess we'll go with, will you? I don't see many soldiers. We're tougher than we look. We've survived persecution, survived Avernus. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. So I can say, if you survive the hells, you'll survive this, or maybe you'll catch a glimpse of Baldur's Gate before they cut you down, or with trained wargs on your scent, not likely. <laughs> Go with, maybe you'll catch a glimpse of Baldur's Gate before they cut you down. Ah. Huh. Well, aren't you an optimist? <laughs> I'm a realist. I've seen what the goblins can do to a vulnerable caravan, so I'm not as confident. But if you <laughs> are, why not put a little gold on the line? Okay, so I can say you have an odd sense of humor. This isn't really funny. Or how are you going to take my gold if you're dead? Or sure, it's a bet 10, or I'm not the wagering type. Go with, how are you going to take my gold if you're dead? I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. <laughs> After seeing you at the gate, well, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. Are you flirting with me? Just because we have the same hairstyle, honey. A Astarian's kind of really distracting me, though, so you'll just have to wait until, you know, whenever his natural lifespan might end. Okay, anyway, so... Um, Alright, so... Alright, you're on. Here's ten gold. Excellent. I'll meet you in Baldur's Gate when this is all over. If I only we could ever get there. Or not. Tell Larian. So we can get there. Alright, anyway. Alright, so we'll just sell stuff and then go get the guidance locket, I think is going to be the next thing we do. Because I really need it. Especially for the next time I go to camp. Alright. Hey, Astarian, did you hear that girl hitting on me? What do you think about that? Anything? No? Okay, just checking. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Superhero jumps! Yay! Bye guys, it was fun stealing all your booze. Hey wizard boy, what are you doing jumping around like that? Alright, so sell stuff, go get guidance locket. Those are the next two things on the agenda, I think. Because I need my guidance. I needs it. Now which is the best way to go? That way or this way? I guess this way. Alright, sell my junk to this dude, if I have any. I don't think I have much. Need anything else? <coughs> of course. But please, remember. You're not the only one in need. Okay. Okay. See, again, 
I don't know. Alright. I think that's pretty much all I need to sell right now. Sylvanas be with you. And since it's been a while, I think I'll give it a real save before you do the get the locket. I also gotta remember to delete all those save games before the patch because it won't be usable anymore. I I'm hoping the patch is Tuesday, but I'm guessing it might not be till next week, but they haven't said they're gonna do another panel from hell. So if they didn't do another panel from hell, they could release it to this week, but I'm not getting my hopes up yet since they haven't actually said the date as far as I know. Light on my feet. Can't reach what? Alright, now I gotta remember. I think you have to go up here to get the locket. Was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now a mere werebear could swap me halfway to arm. Like yes, Strange I... things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Yes, I actually pay attention to party banter. It's one of my favorite things in the game is the party banter. And, you know... Will's saying that he now seems weaker than before. Which I find interesting. One crisis after another. And later on... When we get to that, I'll tell you why I find it so interesting that Will is saying he seems weaker than he used to be. Because that seems like an odd thing to me. But we'll touch on that later. <laughs> when uh, we cover why I find that odd. That he would say that. Alright. Might as well jump. wonder if the gods are watching me. I think there's anything down here. It's up here, right? Yeah, there's the ladder in you. There's some. It's been a while since I played this, but yeah. I was gonna say, I thought it was over here. Always room for more. Spicy sausage, eh? Let me have my spicy sausage! <laughs> Got a lovely view of the crashed ship from up here. Don't we there? boys. Why am I only seeing Will? Guys? What now? Why are you guys still here? <laughs> okay. Why didn't they follow me? That's the first time I've seen that happen in a long time. Them not following. They're not separated, so that was strange. Gail, are Which you coming? Which way to the nearest library? I don't know. I haven't seen one at all, Gail. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> Musical ladders. Can we all, like, stay together now? Just want my locket, that's all. Thank you. History felt. And they're all over there, so... We don't get to hear about that. Not that it's all that important. I mean, it might be important to a and d but I don't know who the Harpers were and why it's important. So, you know. <laughs> Yay, I've got guidance now. Woohoo! Oh, you know what? This whole... <laughs> this whole time... I forgot that I could have a companion now. 
But I also gotta, like, put Will's thing on here. His dancing lights. Okay, they're right there. He's not gonna keep that necklace for long, though, when I get a more useful one. But yeah, I forgot I could have a companion, because I've had my little spider with me this whole time. <laughs> Oopsies! So we got a raven, a wolf, a bigger spider, a bear, or a boar. Hmm, I don't know. Guess we'll go with wolf for now. All right, so let's go over here and see if we can get this thing. Perception filled. Anybody else want to try? Something over there. Thank you, dear. All right. At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders, a shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. So watch the spiders and remain ready to strike. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Shit, I should have had a story to do this. Doubt, a spider egg is nestled within. I think I got plus three, but I think a starion might have higher. So we'll see if he can do it. Delicious. What? What? He does it on purpose. He's like, oh, you're trying to concentrate. I'll just say something like that. Okay. At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny it's gold coin yeah, he's plus five. pokes from its mouth. Yeah, so, sorry. Why, why do you say things like that? I'm trying to concentrate. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, so he can speak softly to spiders in hopes of calming them. Which he's got plus one for. Or um, dart your hand in hoping to snatch a bag. Which he's got plus five for. So he needs a ten, I guess? Okay. Thank you, dear. The spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Okay. Alrighty. Now, this thing's super heavy. So I'm going to send it to camp because I'm not sure if it's ever going to have a use, but, you know, in case it does, I want to have it on me. Oh, yeah, I got to move his stuff around again. Yeah. All right. We got it. We got it. I got my guidance now. Woohoo! Okay, so since this is considered a story, I didn't, didn't sell it when I hit sell wares. That's interesting. But since I'm in here, I'm just going to send this stuff to camp too. Before I get weighed down. All right. So, let's give it another save. And I'm really surprised none of them said, I'm tired, I want to go to camp. But, I think, well, let's see. Now, what I want to do next is um, go get a star in his armor. But that's really far away. So what I think I'm going to do, since I have Guidance now and I haven't wasted my Illithid, I'm going to go trigger a, a camp scene and then we'll go to camp. That's what I think I'm going to do. Because I kind of would like that camp scene triggered, not just because it's one of my favorite scenes, but because it also gives one of these characters another ability, which I can need. All right. Which way it is? It's over here. Moving ahead. Where's the way down? That's where you're somewhere. There it is. What path lies before me. All right, so I'm gonna trigger a camp scene. 
and then we'll go to camp. Because I haven't wasted my Illithid, and I haven't wasted my Inspiration points, and now I have Guidance. So I think it's a good time to trigger that camp scene. Need to find a way forward. And uh, get somebody an extra ability. Never wanted the easy path. Now you guys all gonna follow me this time? Come on, everybody get down here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wolf, wolf, wolfie, wolfie poo. Where are you? All right, so let's save again, cause you can never save too much. So I'm gonna go trigger the camp scene, and then we'll go to camp, I guess. Oh wait, there's something here too, isn't there? Guess we'll do this, Moving and then in. we'll trigger the camp scene since nobody's complained yet about being tired. Wonder if the gods are watching me. People up ahead, something's wrong. All right, Gail, Will, if either of you cancel out a Starian's line, I am not going to be a happy girl. So I don't even think about it. All right. Hang on, Ed. I'm going something to, be to ask. Right. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. But I don't <laughs> think he's conscious. There used to be rain. Can, in the can scene. you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. I don't remember there being rain in this scene before. Okay, so I can um, freeze and hold up your hands, or what happened to your friend, or uh, medicine, his wounds look deep, I might be able to help, or illithid wisdom, I will go where I wish. Um, I think we'll go with what happened to your friend. An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the Absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Okay. So I can try to block him out, hold a stare, or move away, reaching for your weapon. Well. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, so I'll just uh, try to block him out. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to Shepard. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Okay, Zs. That all sounds like normal. Ed, please. He's with the absolute now. You're, you're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. So I can say you're mistaken on a true soul or true soul question mark or explain this absolute to me or perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the Druid Helson or why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous or you need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Hmm. I guess I'll just go with perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the Druid Helson. I don't know any Druids. Long answer. Okay. So, all the same, and then forget the owlbear, you're still alive, so go. Um, so we'll say, what's this true soul stuff, or just true soul? What? Are you, are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. Okay, then. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, mm -hmm. the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. <laughs> All zeal and no brains. Well, the camera was messed up, but we got his line. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. So, a current summary, you have more to learn of our faith, or you're mistaken, I'm an intrusive soul, or why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous, or you need to find the beast that meant your brother. Forget the elevator, you're still alive, so go.
Um, well, I need to talk to these folks about your true soul nonsense, so you guys should find something else to do. Like, um, find the beast that avenged your brother. Yeah, go do that. Have fun. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy For of the absolute. For some reason, Astarian likes right, the idea of madam. getting revenge. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, True Soul, we may stand a chance. Yeah, I'll be right there. But yes, Astarian likes They spoke revenge. of the absolute. Things Same as for that me. goblin, Saza. Curious. Sounds like trouble. <laughs> but yes, when you know a starring story, you'll get that. All right. The man is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. So I can reach out to crush it, observe it, or leave it be. Mm. Guess we'll go with observe it. It seems to curl upward in recognition, then shrinks back down, eager to escape. So we'll reach out to crush it. One squeeze should do it. But you stop short. That was my wolf. How could you think of harming something so beautiful? Really? So pure. So, I've got plus two for insight. Resist those feelings. This is a parasite. Or plus one for strength. Try to crush the creature or leave it alone. Guess we'll go with the one we're best at. Resist those feelings. This is a parasite. So you do have to click that to get it to come up. Interesting. So I need a 10. Okay. Crush the hell out of that damn worm. The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. Or not. But it's, it's too little precious. Too sweet. Oh yes, very sweet. Isn't like it? a gummy worm. All right, so inside I've got one D four and two. Concentrate and destroy it in one swift motion. Strength one D four and one. Strain every fiber of being. Smash the parasite. Constitution is two and one D four. Focus whatever's on in your mind. It isn't you. Um. So insight and constitution are pretty much the same. Guess we'll go with focus. Whatever's in your mind, it isn't you. Oof. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. Intention zips from your mind to your heel. You crush the tadpole into the ground and fight off the well of sorrow swelling in your chest. Yes! The right one is talking! <laughs> okay. I mean, oh, a star wants to talk. So, we're blessed true souls, handpicked by the Absolute just like their ex-brother, who, by a remarkable coincidence, also had a Mind Flayer worm in his skull. Hmm. So, I can say all the more reason to get rid of it, or is that how we were meant to turn out? Brainwash cultists or his siblings practically worshipped us? This could be useful. <laughs> well, it could be, technically. I mean, we got them to leave. So, his siblings practically worshipped us. This could be useful. Indeed. Until we transform into floating, slimy monsters. I imagine it'll be downhill after that. See, he knows. He's not oblivious. He's like, yeah, it'll probably suck later, but hey. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm really shocked that they haven't complained about wanting to rest yet. But, you know. Yes, I know there's an owlbear nonsense 
down there, but I want to go trigger this camp scene and then go to camp. For reasons. Should mind my step. I think it was this way. All right, now I think they changed this. But I will try to get the extra line, but I think they took it out. Keep your distance, darling. You talking to Will or Gil? Okay. <laughs> Maybe the wolf. Watch yeah. the shadows. See, I think they cut out the extra line you could get with a Starian. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. You just really know how to say distracting things. That boar looks riddled with disease. Best keep our distance. Okay, that's not his regular line that he used to have. But if I click on it... No, I think they took out that line. Interesting. Interesting. They that There used to be a line there, and now there's not. Hmm, interesting. Welcome back, dear. All right. Or they changed it to that other thing that he just said about it being riddled with disease. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can see why they change it. Because it makes more sense for him to say the line he did say instead of the one he used to say. So I get it. But all right. Let's go look at this piglet. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Mm -hmm. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I don't get any advantages. I can I'll examine the boar's corpse or let's go. I guess we'll examine the corpse. Okay. I don't even didn't remember to do my uh, advantage thing. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. Hmm. And is it dead enough for you? <laughs> what the exsanguinated boar with two puncture wounds, kind of like the ones on your neck? That oh, I guess it could be a birthmark. Um, yeah. So, I've got three, plus three, for these marks are strange, do you recognize them? Or plus one for you know something about this, don't you? Or yeah, let's go. Well, you know, I'm sure you're wise. Maybe you know what these marks are about. They're strange, do you recognize them? Because you kind of have matching ones on your neck. So you might. Would you like to shed some light on that? Dear, honey, sweetie, baby. That's weird that you now have to click add bonus before it showed up on its own. Oh, holy crap. Wow. Wows. Wows. I kind of want to save my inspiration points, but I kind of don't. Because I kind of want to use them here. But I kind of might need them later. Ugh, I guess I'll use one and hope really hard. Okay, that's a better. Gonna regret that. I'm probably gonna need them later. I. It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. Hmm. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. Hmm. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, uh -huh. please, let's go. He didn't want to worry me, and he'll keep watch tonight. Hmm. Never mind that you still haven't explained why you've got the same kind of marks on, on your neck, dear. Hmm. I mean, maybe I was imagining it. Do you have marks on yes. your neck? Yes. Oh, you're turning the other way now. Hmm. Pretty sure you had marks on your neck. 
kind of like the ones on the pig's neck. But at least you didn't want to worry me. And you'll keep watch, so it's all good. I'm probably going to regret saving because I might need those inspiration points later and I use one. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> all right. So, I guess. Which way are we going? This dog keeps coming in here. All right. So, I think we're going that direction, right? But I guess we'll go to camp since we haven't done that in a bit. That was weird. It just all went bizarre there for a second. All right. So let's give it a real save and then we'll go to camp. But I'm kind of afraid because I really didn't want to have to use an inspiration point. But it was necessary. So I'm really hoping I don't regret it. Actually, we might only get one of the two camp scenes tonight. We'll see. Okay. Now we're getting this one. I figured we'd get this one. Not sure if we'll still get the other one or not, though. My, my, what manner of place is this? One of my four favorite voice actors. A patch actors of ground again. to call home. Some rest for the wicked, after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Mm -hmm. So I can say, Kara, join us for the fire, or pleasure, I'm Nocturna, or am I talking to the mouse or the cat, or pretty words, if you want to threaten me, don't disguise it, or get out of my camp while you still have legs. We'll go with, am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. Yes, privacy, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Mm -hmm. Every time the screen goes black, I'm worried now because of that one glitch we had earlier. <laughs> like, ah, did it screw it up again? There, middle of somewhere. Can we have this as our camp? All right, so I can say nice decor, or can you be more specific than somewhere? Take me back now or reach for your weapon. I'll say nice decor. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly go on partake enjoy your supper after all it might just be your last mm -hmm. interesting all right so i can say what makes you say that or i'm getting tired of your games or are these theatrics leading somewhere or ignore them and fill your plate <laughs> i guess we'll go with are these theatrics leading somewhere <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Hmm. Tom Ellis? No, wait. <laughs> What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. One played by Holy Tom in hells. Okay. You're a cambion. <laughs> And so much more. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. So I can draw my weapon. What makes you think I need saving? Why would you help me? Or I don't care what you are. I care what you want. I'll say, I don't care what you are, I don't care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth 
very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Okay, so I can say I'll do anything to get rid of the tadpole and you think it's over, or you're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil, or then fix it or die at my hand. We'll go with you're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. So, a story and it proves of me yourself. not making a deal with the devil. Around. Interesting. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. He's such a good actor. Hope. <laughs> such a tease. But yeah, there's a, a whole bunch of people that think Astarian's evil, but... Didn't he just approve of me not making a deal with the devil? And approve of me not- or disapprove of me saying I'd kill myself? Well, I guess he's evil. Alright. Um, so anyway... <laughs> so, um, I can say, and if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? Or I'll have the last laugh in the end. Or take me back after that, I'll never want to see you again. Or I'll rip out your mocking tongue. Um... I think I'll say, and if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? You know, or if I want to de-wing you. I mean, yeah, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those yum, yum. pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. <laughs> nice chat. So Gail wants to talk? Is that what that says? Yeah, it's Gail. Well. As I said in the last stream, sometimes if you talk to one person, it cancels out somebody else's thing. What the hell's Will, anyway? There's his imp. Oh, he's sitting there. I was going to say, where the heck did he go? But yeah, sometimes if you talk to them first, it cancels out other people's stuff. So we're going to talk to Astarian first. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. <laughs> well, this gets better and better. <laughs> Shop around, he said. He seems sure we went fine. I love when he does his impression of Raphael here. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. So... I can say, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, or he's not. We still have options, or if you want to sell your soul, be my guest. I'll say, um, he's not. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, <laughs> I'll wait, nonsense. <laughs> he's playing with us. Gazador, my old master, liked master? to toy with people, too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. What's this about a master? Until he snatched it all away. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. So Cazador, his old master, used to play games like that too. Let people think there was hope until he snatched it all away. Care to tell me a little more about this master thing? I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Sorry, and I, I'd like to know a little more about. This, 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 this Cazador thing. This master thing. I'd like to know. Alright, so, um, we're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Or so what do we do? Or you might not be able to outfax him, but I will. Uh, I'll say we're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Mm -hmm. Who tampered with it and why? You got points. What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? Mm -hmm. If we find those answers, 
We might have a chance. Dory thinks Gil's the smart one. He's made some points. Okay, um, yeah, speaking of Gil, I guess we'll talk to him next. Because we know what Will thinks about deals with devils. I mean, he's a warlock. Let's look it up. How do warlocks get their powers again? All right, Gil, what do you have to say? Discussion. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Um, a cambion came courting us. <laughs> okay, so I can say you have a strange idea of courtship, or definition of courtship, or dining with the devil, that's a bad taste in my mouth, or what's a cambion in the first place? I'll say you have a strange definition of courtship. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us. Badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Hmm. So, I can say all I'm hearing is conjecture, but what if it, that this devil wants so very badly? Or I'll remind you that when dealing with the devil, you always draw a short straw. I'll say, but what is it this, this devil wants so badly? Our souls. But I suspect well, we that's what coin. his opening offer. Will that work? Let me play the devil deals advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Raphael is a cambion, which makes him part human. And what is human is fallible. Says the human. I guess Will's a human too. Unlike us high elves like me and Astarian. All right, so um, I can say you've got that right, or I don't quite get your drift. And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? So I say, and how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very yeah, powerful about our said that. Poles. Fact two, <laughs> a devil offers to take it away. What if the tadpole is what he really wants instead of the customary price that is our souls? If I'm right, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Again, will he take the soul coin? Remember his Cormirian <laughs> rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Alright, Will, so what do you think about deals with devils, Mr. Warlock? The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So, I can say get to the point, or you mean Raphael, we should at least consider his offer given our circumstances, or spare me the parables. I have no intention of bargaining with the likes of him. Uh, I guess I'll go with the middle of the road choice. Get to the point. Do not trust a devil. Was I saying I was trusting him? Is that him? plain enough? <laughs> Refuse him. No matter how tempting mm. the offer, no matter how okay, delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost's always too great. Mm hmm. So I can say he spoke of a cure. We have to at least hear him out, or no cost is too great if it rids me of this infection. I'll say, he spoke of a kill, let's at least hear him out. Take a single step towards him, and he'll dog you the whole journey. Mm -hmm. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Mm-hmm. Gee, where are you getting your information? Oh, sorry, Warlock. All right, anyways. <laughs> do I have anything to sell? I don't think I do. Um, oh yeah, this junk. Since I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing the owlbear, we'll put that in camp. Mm. Yeah, I guess I have a couple things I can sell. Not many, though. Fate spins along as it should. Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. Yeah. Okay. So, we can have this. I 
think these are 480 each, so I'll just wait for a bit until I need them, I think. I don't think anybody else has anything, except Starion has a couple things. So glad they fixed it so you don't actually have to hit that first anymore. Alright. Okay. Alright. Now, since you can add bonuses after you get the dice to pop up, I don't think I have to cast Guidance on myself right away. Actually, I'm going to give it a real save. Since this could be a very important scene coming up if it triggers, which it could. Now, let's see. I don't think I have to cast Guidance ahead of time. I guess to be safe, I will. But I'm pretty sure I don't have to. Alright, nappy time! Oh, wait. Hold on, let's go get this shit out of here and use some of it. And I'll just put it back. Yes, now I'm heavily encumbered, I know. Because there's a couple things in here that actually aren't supplies. Like that. Alright. Yes, I know I'm encumbered, but I want them to count all the food, not just the food in my inventory. I'll just walk very, very slow now. Now my concentration's working again, but I honestly don't think I have to cast Guidance ahead of time like you used to have to. Alright. Okay, now nap time. Okay. I just want to get rid of, like... All this extra junk. You don't Aha! just work. Yes! I mean, hmm, what's this? Dreams and nightmares <laughs> may break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Fun times. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. Stop. I don't really want to say stop, but, you know. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed, well, blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. Really? A slave to sanguine hunger. Imagine that. <sighs> see, now, if you've seen his version of the dream, you know exactly why he did this. And it's not because, oh, he wants to kill you. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so... See, I don't like saying this one because it's kind of mean. It's like, I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on or how long you killed someone days hours. See, this one's mean. I don't want to say it, but I like his answer. So I'm going to say it even though it's kind of mean because I like his answer. So how long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? I've never killed anyone. Well, not the food. Mm-hmm. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Vampire boy. Alright, so... <clears> hmm. <throat> I can say, why didn't you tell me? Or I don't care how much you need, you're not drinking my blood. Or push into his mind, searching the truth. See now, there was a wide group of people say, oh, he's probably just lying. He's probably been killing everybody left and right. Blah, 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 blah. So how about we read his mind and find out if he's lying? What? How is heavily encumbered an advantage or disadvantage? Why? Why is that an advantage or a disadvantage? Since when? 
You know, <laughs> it's a one, thankfully. But still, why would that... Whatever. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to reload because I did not know that heavily encumbered was an advantage or disadvantage. Arr, that's so annoying. Since when is carrying stuff? Arr, that's so annoying. I never knew that just because you were carrying stuff, you have to take a disadvantage on all your rolls since freaking when? I mean, I can understand in like fights and stuff, but not in conversation. So annoying. So we're going to do this again now. Because I didn't know that carrying stuff affected your conversational ability. Or your mind reading ability. That pisses me off. <laughs> that should have no effect on your ability to speak or read minds. But as I was saying, a lot of people originally said, oh, he's probably just lying. He's probably been killing people all the time. So I'm so, I was so happy when they added the um, chance to read his mind. Okay, now, what all did I do here so far? I think I... S this was right after I sold stuff. Yeah, I think this was right after I sold stuff. See, the only reason I did that is because I didn't want to it to count the supplies I already had in my inventory. So I think we'll just take out... That's two, six, seven, eight, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty... 21, 22, 23, 24, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33. That's because that's the thing, wasn't it? 34, 35, plus these are heavy. And that was there more than one of those. I'll put all that back in a minute. All right, let's try this again now. Since for some reason carrying stuff affects your ability to speak or read minds. Okay, let's do this again. You don't rest well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation. Right. Everybody looks shocked when something you find is out. wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. See, I don't want to say stop or lash out, but Stop is less annoying. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. But yeah, if you've um, watched any of the Astarian playthrough, I haven't done it myself, but I've watched parts of it. You know exactly what led up to him doing this on this night. And it's not what people think. But anyway, um, so. Pick the same one we picked for. How long since you killed someone? Days, hours. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. Uh-huh. I feed on animals. Bulls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Oh, he said please. All right, so for all the people that said, oh, he's just a liar and he's been out killing people left and right. Let's read his mind and find out if he's telling the truth. <laughs> Difficulty zero. <laughs> Where's that 20 every other time I need it? So, are you lying? Are you really out killing people left and right? Like an evil, evil, bad vampire man? I... What's this? What's happening? A shiver runs across your mind. 
You feel they need to fix sated. this clipping too. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down. Not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. Yeah. So he's not lying. For as long as he's been a vampire, he's never been allowed to eat anything but rats for his entire life as a vampire. Because he wasn't allowed to eat anything but rats. Okay. Um, so I can say you ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. Or why didn't you tell me you were a vampire? Um... I get. Guess we're both one. You ate animals because you were forced to, you, not because you wanted to. I. Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Hmm. All right. So I can say I do. I believe you. Or you tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Or believe if I ever see you again, I'll kill you. Well, obviously, we know what we're going to pick. I do, I believe you, considering I just read your mind. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? Plus, I've seen his dream, so taste. I know why he did that. I swear. Okay, so I can say fine, but not a drop more than you need, or are you mad? No. Okay, obviously, we're going with fine, but not a drop more than you need. Really? I... <laughs> of course. Not one drop more. Hmm. Bitey time. He holds you carefully. Delicately. Until he strikes. <laughs> they need to fix the animation on that too. It's like a it shard to be of fixed. ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Yeah, that your used to be fixed. catches. Your pulse quickens. All right. So obviously we're going to say that's enough, even though. But yeah, we're obviously going to say that's enough because I got plus three for that. Add bonus, guidance. I need a five. Okay. Five. Plus one, plus three. Did it not add my guidance on it? Anyway, so I succeeded, but yeah, I didn't see it add the other one. Maybe I'm just distracted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. I really wish they had fixed that. It used to be fixed. That, that was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Aw, I made him happy. <laughs> so I can say, I'm looking forward to seeing you fight or I don't, that felt wrong. Police, do you know who you're talking to? I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Wasn't I just saying I wanted to give people extra abilities? That's why I triggered the scene. So I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. <laughs> Now, True. if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, Thank but you. I need something more filling. Mm. You I'm watch sorry. as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident. I would have given you more, but ready to I kind of need to be alive. This is a gift, you know. <laughs> I won't forget it. Hmm. Invigorating, eh? Bloodless crates. Yeah, that's kind of annoying that they now put this debuff on you. It didn't used to be there. <laughs> All right. So let's send this stuff back to camp because I don't think we had to use most of it. Mm -hmm. Should probably save too before it crashes and I gotta do that roll again. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> All right. One of my favorite scenes. Yay. And I didn't even have to use an inspiration point. Or roll again. Yay. That's everything, right? Oh, no, these things. All right, I think we're all good. All right. Oh, sorry, he wants to talk. You mean you're not gonna ignore me the night, the morning after? What a good boy. All right, anyway. Good morning. Hi. How do you feel? Like I've been nibbled upon. All right, Um. so I can say I'm fine, I just, feel a little woozy or my neck hurts how do you think I feel or I feel awful we'll be doing that again well obviously we're gonna go with I'm fine I just feel a little woozy it'll pass mm -hmm. just be glad I'm not a true vampire a bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn like my good self all of a vampire's hunger <laughs> but few of their powers a couple of ways that's hunger too all right so skeleton nobody asked you stop making noises in my ear so I can say, is that how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Or any other drawbacks I should know about? Or a pity I thought you'd be more powerful? I should, I'm gonna say, is that how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. I see chat and just waiting for a dialogue. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Some of the rules, at least. Running water still burns like acid. And I don't know if I need an invitation to enter a house. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> um, no, I actually have never played D&D. Um, I've never played d and I've never played the first Baldur's Gate games. Um, and I haven't even played the Divinity games. But I absolutely adore this game, mainly because of a story. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm familiar with all of them, but I've never actually played any of them. So, but yeah, I just dived into this and, uh, ends up being one of my favorite games, even though it's only the first 35 hours of a super, super huge game. But hi, welcome to the stream DM. Okay. <laughs> so I can say, what's causing this? The mind flayer's parasite, or if I can help just ask, burn this together or figure them out quickly. I don't want any more surprises. Um... I'm gonna go with, if I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. Thank you, I try. I'm just <laughs> glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. Mm -hmm. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. <laughs> so we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. A word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Fine. As long as he keeps his fangs off our necks. It wasn't bad, guys. You should try it. Sorry. Okay, anyway. Oh, except for the stupid debuff they got with patch 5. Alright, so anyway. um, I can say, enough, we need him, like it or not, or trust him, he won't hurt us, or if you don't like it, you can leave. We're going with, if you don't like it, you can leave. I wouldn't recommend it. I won't <laughs> get you, but the Mind Flayers might. <laughs> you say all the right words, mouth? but I'm which, not so which sure mouth? you mean the right <laughs> things. <laughs> Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. <laughs> okay. All right, let me get a real save. Since we did that whole thing. Oh yeah, and I gotta put his new uh, skill on him. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's a nice skill. I like that. All right. Yeah, see this, this debuff did not exist before uh, patch five. Kind of annoying. All right, so um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we we're gonna go get him his armor. That's what we were doing, okay. Nice mouth what? I'm not sure what you're referring to. 
because there's a bit of a delay on the stream, so. I don't think there's anything I need to sell. Oh yeah, I was going to send this to camp too, since it won't let me sell it. All right. I doubt if I'm ever going to use that, so I can probably sell it too. Probably won't use that one either, but... Okay, anyway. <laughs> Her character's mouth was all in the camera during the time. Oh yeah. Yeah, some of the uh, scenes are a little... It's early access. Are, have you played this game? Are you familiar with Baldur's Gate 3? Or are you just watching because you're curious about it? Because I know some people have never seen anything about it. Some people have played it. So I'm always curious as to whether people are watching because they're curious about it or if they've played it before or either or. Yeah, you have played it before? Yeah, I haven't played much since patch 5. I think I only played one off-stream playthrough up until the party. And then... I haven't really played patch 5 since then, but I figured I'd play a little bit more of it before the new patch, which might be Tuesday, might be next week, not sure which. I'm probably going to stop sometime in the next hour or so because I've been going for a while, but we'll try to do a little bit more here since we got at least one of my favorite scenes. You wanted to see what their adaptation of D&D 5e is like? Yeah, uh, they, obviously adaptations, they always got to change stuff, but um, with just the last patch, they've made um, a lot of changes that... D, D players asked for to make it more like D, &D. I'm not familiar with D, D, so I couldn't tell you how true it is to the game, but I know that they've made some changes that people were asking for. So let's see. Um Yeah, so we can just leave the camp now. Eh. <laughs> it's fucked up a lot of stuff. Well it's an adaptation, you know. But the thing is I if you look at it from a person who doesn't play D&D, &D, which is my perspective, I really, you know, <laughs> haven't, don't have many problems with it. So, <laughs> you know. I mean, some of the things they changed to make it more like D&D, &D, I actually didn't like those changes, but the D&D &D people like them. So, but obviously uh, you got to change things down. to go from tabletop to computer. All right. So, everything else is fine, but the mechanics are kind of messy. Yeah, well, early access, and they have been changing stuff. I don't know what we're going to get with uh, the next patch, because all they've told us so far about the next patch is that we're getting Sorcerer. That's all they said so far about the next patch. Alright, so I want to go get him his armor. Yeah, there's other stuff we're supposed to be doing before that, but I want to go get him some really nice armor. But I have to go elsewhere to do that. Alright, so one class I like them to try screen around. <laughs> Sorcerer's coming though, yeah. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. See, it, it, it's hard for me to really say what they should change and what they shouldn't change since I haven't actually played D&D. See, the, the, I have played tabletop RPGs. The one I played was um, Vampire the Masquerade, though. So I'm familiar with the idea behind tabletop RPGs. And I also watch um, the guy that plays Astarian. He uh, DMs a Warhammer group on Twitch sometimes, like every couple weeks. So I somewhat familiar with that as well because of watching him but yeah um vampire is the one that i played oh i guess we should talk to these folks huh well first we gotta loot you know priorities all right i told them to run the idiots you better turn north here or you'll end up like them you play a little bit of that? Warhammer or Vampire? Saw the Vampire, one of the designers, writers, put so much Nazi stuff in there that the company just nicked it. I read that. Yeah, I, I actually, I played Vampire the Masquerade a long, long, long time ago. Like, 
years and years and years and years and years ago. But I haven't, um, I've never played the new version of Vampire the Masquerade, which is like Vampire 5 or 5, I don't even know. It's some new version, but I've never played the new version. Although I do write vampire books and I use, um, I use a lot of the rules from uh, the World of Darkness games just because they have a rule for everything. <laughs> And D&D game. I did run a Star Wars Fantasy Flight games and such. I got a bunch of Call of Cthulhu stuff. Cool, cool. So you're definitely into the tabletop thing. Yeah, I played Vampire the Masquerade, but it's been a long, long, long time since I played it. Okay, so now this is the way we came. So let's see if we can loot this what stuff without triggering me. these people. Goblins. I can smell trouble ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is one little weird glitch that's been happening today where it just suddenly goes dark for a second and doesn't let you click anything. Alright, let's go around this way because I think it's easier to approach from this direction than just go straight through the main door. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to get everybody set up for the day. Okay, um, Will, you need to put on your hellish rebuke. Here I and get your imp. Oh yeah, and Gel has dark vision now too, but I don't think we need it yet. Ah, um, excellent choice. Can we not stand up here where we're gonna trigger them, please? Mage armor. I don't think we need to worry about dark vision just yet because we're going to be outside for a bit. So we won't worry about that just yet. Can't give up now. All right. Since Will and Gal don't have dark vision, like me and Astarian, I guess I'll get my wolf back out. I don't know. I can't decide which companion I like the best out of these ones. All right, so. All right, everybody got their stuff sorted now. I don't think I need to do arcane recovery for him just yet. All right, so let's move on, shall we boys? Don't think there's anything important up here, but we'll check. I'm not even going the way I want to go, because I want to go get his armor. I think... It's been so long since I played this, I'm trying to remember if there's an easier route to get to where I want to go. Yeah, I think we have to go through the town either way, so... I think we're fine. Alright, these jerks now. Hello and welcome to Bogrot. Now, kindly, gives all your stuff. As the symbol glows... Power courses through you. Authority. Okay, so I can say Balgrat, or I can do Persuasion, which I have plus two for. The dogs are making noise in the other room. It's kind of annoying. All right. Yeah, so I've got plus two for that, I guess, now. And I, I said that's a, it's a fine day, my friend. Why spoil it with killing or intimidation? Which I have no bonuses for, thanks to the stupid debuff they had with patch 5. Um, nice town, wipe my feet on your corpse before entering. Or illithid wisdom. You do not give orders to me. Or the only thing you're getting is a beating. Guess we'll try persuasion. It sounds like the dog is out there puking or something, which is wonderful. Okay, <laughs> it's not my dogs, but I'm the one to get stuck cleaning up after them. My housemates ain't here. Alright, so, um... I guess we'll try this one. It's a fine day, my friend. Why spoil it with killing? All right. Holy 20? Seriously? 20? Seriously? What the hell? That's not cool. Oh, 
Oh, that was fucking lucky. Oh my god. Wow. I did not think I was getting that at all. Wow. Okay. Well, ain't you got a sunny disposition? Yes. The bugbear all hates you. <laughs> Go wake him up and tell him I sent you. I am amazed I got that role. He's patriarch of the Tsar family. What? Nasty fellow, if the histories are accurate. We missed I imagine the... they are. That was a really good party banner we missed the beginning of it because the goblin wouldn't shut up. But yeah, um, to clue you in there, um, if you saw the night before, Asarian mentioned his master Kazador, and then we found out he was a vampire. And I think right there, Asarian just asked Will if he's ever heard of a vampire lord named Kazador Zar. And Gail said, yes, he's the patriarch of the Tsar family, and if the histories are accurate, he's a very nasty person. And then really, really sadly, Astarian says, yes, I imagine they are. So, that's what that party banter was. But the freaking goblin interrupted it. Freaking goblin, I'll punt you. Interrupted my Astarian backstory. Okay. So now we can go in here, though. Okay. I'm amazed I got that roll, seriously. Did not expect that. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I think we'll worry about looting all this stuff later, because we are going to be coming forward. back here anyway, but I kind of want to get his armor for him before I worry about all this other stuff that's in this town, because we'll be back here quite a bit anyway. So I think we'll just go we'll to where I want to go, and then we'll come back here and loot everything and all that. Ugh, DX11 with the freezing. But freezing's better than crashing, which is what Vulcan does. Please do not trigger these people. Do you not want to deal with them right now? Alright. I want to go get his armor, and then we'll worry about everything in here, in this town. As my feet can carry me. More rain. Pretty sure if this is the direction we gotta go. Through. A question for our master monster hunter. How would you approach killing a vampire? A full-on vamp, you mean? Lure it into the sun? Drive a stake through its heart. And that's not the end of it. The suckers are wily. No offense. None taken. Wiliness keeps me alive. More or less. <laughs> More or less. Oh my god, these dogs are making so much noise, I don't know what they're doing. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing? Sounds like he's hacking up a lung out there. Freaking dogs. Again, not my dogs. But I get stuck watching them when the housemates aren't here. Makes it a little difficult to stream when they keep being annoying. Alright, anyway, moving on. Moving on. All right. Okay, let's stick to this side because I don't want to trigger the stuff over there. Just want to get his armor and go. Did everybody come, including my damn wolf? Hello, wolf. What are you doing? Where the hell are you, wolf? More freezing. DX11. It always seems to get worse right before a patch. You know what? I am not gonna bother trying yeah, to never mind. get your ass all the way over here, Wolfie Poo. So we're just gonna do it this way. Thank you. Now I stay to the left because I don't want to get into the fight on the right side of the road. Because I just want to get the armor and then get back to the quest that I'm supposed to be doing. Alright. Oh great, encumbered, wonderful. Alright, so what can we get rid of? Wait. Oh my god, what are these dogs doing? They're making so much noise. Alright. Mark off all the stuff that I'm just gonna sell so I can get rid of it quickly. I'm gonna go back to town. Why are all these people giving me 
silverware. Okay, and then we'll send supplies to camp. Oh my god, these dogs! Oh my god. I don't know what the hell's going on out there, but it's annoying. Uh, you probably can't hear it, but the dog sounds like he's out there, like, coughing up his lungs. And I'm just like, if I have to clean up a bunch of dog puke, I am not going to be happy. They're not even my damn dogs. All right. Anyway. So it's making it a little hard to concentrate. Freaking dog annoyances going on. All right. Um, let's see. Just trying to get unencumbered here. Now I can make other people carry this stuff. Will, you can carry junk. Oh my god, seriously, dog. Oh yeah, I forgot to send this. Inventory management! The funnest part of an RPG ever. I think Will's got higher charisma anyway, so he gets a better price when he sells stuff. Because he's a warlock, so he's got pretty high charisma. Oh my god, dog, stop! Seriously, the dog is making all kinds of freaking noise. Yeah, it didn't look at this. It's a thing. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Okay, seriously, this dog is making so much noise. I don't know what the hell it's doing. So I'm going to go to the other room and find out what the hell is going on with the dogs, and I will be back in a minute. I mean, I wasn't going to try to go in because I was going to probably be ending in the next hour, but he's making so much noise. i got to figure out what the hell he's doing. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, I'm somewhat back. That took a lot longer than it should have. Well, the good news is no dogs were puking. But apparently, um, one of them has been hack, cough, sneezing nonstop 
for the last half hour. And this dog, he lives for food. I was trying to feed him so I could get him into his crate. And he didn't even want to get in his crate to eat. He wanted to go outside instead. He wouldn't get in his crate. He wanted to go outside, the one that's coughing his lungs up. And the problem being, when he's outside, he digs holes and escapes. So he's now outside. He won't come back in. And he's probably going to dig a hole and escape. So, and then, of course, I'll get blamed for it because I wasn't babysitting the dog while it was outside. Good times. Love it, love it. Okay, anyway, so the dog is currently outside. I'm hoping he comes back in since I gave him his food, and that's all he usually cares about. But, These you know. have seen everything. But if he escapes, I'm going to get blamed for it. Because, you know, got a dog sit. Can't just sit here and do actual important stuff, like try to stream. Got a babysit a dog that's not even mine. All right, anyway. All right, so now I gotta remember where this waypoint is. <laughs> I think it's over in that direction. I'm gonna have to get up again to try to get him back in Another here because he can't be outside. Smoke. Something's burning. By himself. Okay. At the ready. I wanna go get the waypoint too. I think the waypoint is over that direction. Yeah. All right, now I can get him his armor. And then I think it's... What? What did you just say to me? Okay, there's his armor. There we go. Dry Dry coming armor. here. No magic left there. Sun's too bright. Oh, I got a inspiration point for that. Interesting. The spider's gift. Identify the drow armor near Joaquin's rest. Okay. All right. So, since I got him his armor. We're going to go back to the grove and sell stuff. I don't know how much we actually have to sell. Yeah, I gave it all the will. So, we're going to go sell some stuff. And then we'll get back to the quests we're actually supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, I got to go put his armor on him. The whole reason I went there. There we go. Now, now he looks like my Astarian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a little distracted now because I know I got to go get the dog and try to get him to come back into the house before he escapes. So it's making things a little difficult here. I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, gang? Um... Sure. In silence. Can I hold you to that, Gal? How about you be silent for the rest of this entire thing so Astarian gets a chance to talk instead of you. I'll talk to you, Astarian. Gal's a condescending little... Okay, anyway! Uh, <laughs> moving on. Gonna go sell stuff and then I'll probably go and try to get the dog back in here because he cannot be trusted outside. And he's not coming in to eat, which is really weird because all he cares about is food. All right. Okay. Let's sell some stuff. Um, didn't I click on this dude? Thought mm. I did. Need anything else? Okay. Whew. Of course. But please remember, you're not the only one in need. So where's yeah yeah blade at the ready so where's oh wow, we have money now don't think anybody else has anything 
Oh yeah, you got one thing. Okay, I think we're good there. Could try to buy some stuff, but I'm not really too worried about it right so now. Valnus be with you. All right, so. I'm going to go and try to wrangle the dog. Yet. Got to get up again. Be back in a minute. Again. Hello. Did the NPC chatter keep you entertained? I don't know what is going with that dog. I've never seen him not want to come in the house, especially when you give him food. So it's a little weird. Just a little. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I literally had to grab him by the collar because he would not come in the house. I'm like, yo, in the house. I've never seen him do that ever, especially when you feed him. He's being bizarre as hell. Okay, anyway, um, anyway, yes, yeah, so I was just chasing a dog around the yard, pardon me. Okay, um, where are we going now? Don't waste a step. We're going somewhere, I don't know. Somewhere that's hopefully free of crazy dogs. So I think we're going to save there. And then go back to that town that I said we weren't going to. Uh, worry about looting it right now because I just wanted to get the armor first so anyways oh my goodness silly me thinking that I could actually stream in peace because the only things here right now were the dogs silly silly me okay anyway let's grab some more stuff Yay, more dinnerware. <coughs> oh, of course now the cop wants to start because I've been streaming for four hours. And I'm also out of cough drops and cough medicine. <coughs> this is what I get for trying to do a longer stream since it's my last day to stream. All kinds of stuff going on today all right so do we want to talk to the ogres yet or just loot first <coughs> guess we'll actually loot first maybe somebody will complain about being tired and then we can go back to camp and I can get rid of this annoying debuff before I have to fight anybody the debuff that did not exist before patch 5. 
It's like they're punishing you for not hating on Astarian. It's like, how dare you not hate the evil vampire? Now you have a debuff all day. Okay. Anyway. But there's also a couple of uh, quests I can pick up in these houses, I believe. <laughs> Prayer. Where even is it? <laughs> Can't even see it there. I don't think I need to look at this, but I will just in case people haven't seen it. Lavender of Light, Saluna to Guide, Kelimor to Judge, and Passage Provide. Well, that was exciting. Okay, um, so let's see. Yeah, there is a couple quests you can pick up in this house and the other one. I think there's much in these shelves. Gonna have to mark that off because it looks like a healing potion. Alright, Pothcarry's Ledger. We'll read that because I think that's kind of important for a later thing. It says there's a cellar here somewhere. I don't see one. Well, Gail. Lucky for you, I know where it might be. All right, the ledger is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined, deliver specially requested plants to the cellar. Keep away from prying eyes. Search the cellar, there's our quest. All right. More for me. We need to use the jump action to reach. I don't think I need the jump action to reach this. Yeah, that's another thing they gotta fix. The stuff that, that you allegedly cannot reach. Oh, sorry, what are you doing over there? Let's have a look. Oh, it's these. How did these? Wait a second. Why are these people dead? I didn't attack them. No traps, please. Interesting. These are the ones that were at the, the, the door that we were sated to let us in. How, how'd they die? <laughs> okay. One day I'll catch a break. I'm kind of fuzzled. All right. So yeah, um, cellar. Yeah, we we're supposed to find the cellar. An easy path. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time to press ahead. Very well. Okay. Hey, look, I found a cellar. All right. Let's give it another save because you can never save too much. All right. So. Always looting. Thing is, this stuff is for crafting, and crafting isn't actually in the game yet. But oh well, I can sell it. Let's be on my way. Okay, mm -hmm. grab all of the things and all the stuff. I wasn't actually trying to talk to you. Good, it didn't trigger him. I accidentally clicked on him. I'm just uh, quieter now because I'm trying to decide garlic. I'm trying to decide when to actually end the stream because I have been going for over four hours or just about four hours and I am a bit hungry but we'll see we'll see I'm trying to th think of a good stopping point that we might be coming to soon because I probably won't be able to stream again for a while after today read this, I guess. All right. Okay, this is the important one. Yes, I have read all these. You can pause if you really want to read them, but um, 
This is the important one. Patient Branley, occupation Cooper, malady, large wooden splinter in hand, comment splinter removed, wound clean, doused in balsam ointment and bandaged. Great, now the dog's starting to hack up lungs again. Okay. Okay. So let's see if anybody passes this perception check over here. Or investigation, sorry. I felt it. All right. Who wants to try next? Darling, would you like to try? Okay, how about you, girl? Hmm. Scratch marks on the floor. Thank you. All right. So, if you're new to the game, this could really, really keep you puzzled for a bit. But since I'm not, we'll just move that out of the way. Oh, look, it's a lever. Ta-da! We're magical. All right. So, I'm going to save here. Maybe I'll save after this bit. We'll or in like end there, but we'll see. We'll see, because I am getting quite a bit hungry. Oh wait, hold on, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Charmed, I'm sure. Give that to him. Can you sell your torch? Guess you can give it to yourself too. And then do arcane recovery. And then we'll save. Because I forgot about that. I was thinking we'd stay outside. But I figured since we're here, we might as well do this. All right. OK. So the best way to do this. Um, oh my god, dog, stop. OK. <laughs> yes, the dog's still going at it. All right. So, we're all ranged, basically, except Astarian, who could be ranged or melee. So, I think, as much as it pains me to do so, I will separate going. Astarian out, since he's the best at melee out of all of us. And then we'll go over here. We'll all just wait here and then have him go in since he's the best at melee. All right, so we're not going to have a clear aim back there. So we'll send him back there first since we're not going to be able to hit. Okay. All right. One more save for good measure. God, dog, stop. <laughs> Surprise, but still got an app attack. All right, so. Wolf, what are you doing? Really? What do you mean use jump? It's a door. Just go. Since the wolf is the most expendable, well, the wolf and the imp. What do you mean can't reach? Yeah, they gotta fix that. Oh my god, seriously, the, the dog will not shut up. It's so distracting. Okay, anyway. Alright, now the wolf is in combat. So we'll get the imp into combat now. Okay. Will, can you reach anybody from here? Okay, now that now we're all in combat. Okay, good. Let's see the wolf. 
The imp, me, Starian, Gale, and Will. Okay, and it's a Starian's turn still. Time to kill. Yep. All right. I don't think sneak attack will work, even though we're behind him. Used to before patch five. <laughs> okay. Attack one more time. Oh well, he did ten points of damage at least. Okay. So next. <laughs> Another up attack. Okay. Wolfy wolf. Now can he attack this guy? Not much of a chance, but oh well. Next. No holding back. Okay, will. Okay, you've got all your stuff on, it looks like. Doesn't have this on, but he shouldn't be in melee range. So I guess we'll go 60, 70. Now that one. Oh my god, what is that dog doing? The dog's like literally out there whining. Okay, um. That one's closer to a star in, but he's got a better chance of hitting him. Guess we'll go Duh. for it. Way to go, Will. Alright. Okay. Now, I don't think this counts as next to him, so the sneak attack probably still won't work. No, okay. Let's play. <laughs> Yeah, hit him again. I can go there. Alright. Next. Okay, Gal, who can you reach? Um. He's got seven, he's got twenty. Target is too far. Are you serious right now? What do you mean you can't reach? I'm pretty sure you can, bro. Alright. Um, let's try this again. Too far. Really? 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 Which means this is probably too far, too. Oh, if you move there, you can hit. Alright, fine. Move there. Yeah, I don't like many of the changes they made to combat with Patch 5. I really don't. Okay. So, this guy's got more points. Alright. Okay. We'll have him go there. Alright. And me. Alright, so what shall we do? Not sure if this would hit them or not. So I know friendly fire is a thing, but. Color spray, bane, firebolt. I don't even have that. I'm not gonna use it. Um. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just, you know, use the. He's almost dead anyway. But of course, then I missed. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Wolf. Wolfity wolf wolf. Bye. Okay. Will, you gonna do a little better this time, bro? Okay. Why could you hit him before? No, you can't.
Dolph. I don't even know if that did hit. He's almost dead anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But... Send him down a little bit. Since I'm pretty sure he's going to be dead by the time Will gets to go again anyway. Alright, so... Op attack. Thank you, sorry. All right. Now we can put Asarian back in the group. Now he's too far away. Is that it? All right, fine. Okay. Go down, please. Why are you going all the way up there, weirdo? All right, moving on. Okay, so let's do some looting. After we get a star in back here. Yes, get your butt in the proper order. Best, it's at least best. <laughs> All right, so looty time. All right. I'm sorry, I've been very quiet for the last little bit here, but that's because I've got Something a dog in the other room making all kinds of noise and it's, it's very hard to concentrate. <laughs> all right, let's read this. All right, so I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lab secured. I have not heard the word Thay since we arrived, and only my apprentice knows me as ill and tough. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home, not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with worse to follow. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life, that prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zulkirs find me before I can bring the, her back? I cannot say, but if they do some... If they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. Oh, the ones we just killed? Those ones? Alright. So I think we got everything in here. Yep. Oh yeah, there's this too, I suppose. Did we get both of these? I think we did. Check again, just to be sure. Alright. A bone. Wow. Exciting. Maybe I need more pockets. <laughs> Probably. Alright. What's hiding here? Okay, so this little mirror part is kind of interesting. Um, there's a mirror over here. And it is, it actually, the dialogue with the mirror, or the dialogue options with the mirror and the dialogue, I guess, change depending on who you approach the mirror with. It basically, it seems to do something along the lines of reflecting people's actual wants and desires. Like their true wants and desires instead of what they say they want and desire. So every single person that talks to this mirror gets different options. You know who I'm going to go well. with though. <laughs> you know who I'm going to go with though. Because the mirror basically only gives you the options that would fit the person that you're communicating with it on because I've approached the mirror and different characters and every one of them gets different options. Starians are the best of course. The funniest. Because <laughs> you can do a certain thing that you get a really hilarious line so we're gonna do that. Speak your name. All right so we can repeat the name from the book you read you read Ilan Toth tell it your name or Say, I'm uh, R.S. Silverleaf or examine your appearance. <laughs> this, this is the hilarious line. 
We're going to examine his appearance. Alas, all you see is empty space. The mirror reflects nothing. Lacking any evidence to the contrary, <laughs> you assume you look amazing. <laughs> Speak your name. Oh, God. You only get that with a starry and I believe. So, <laughs> I always do this with a starry and just because that line is hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the name from the book, Ilan Toth. I cannot see you, Master. Speak. Now, actually, that was the wrong choice. I haven't done this for so long. Let's see if he can do this. Yeah, I picked the wrong choice. You're supposed to actually tell it your name. But um, it's been so long since I did this. I didn't realize that until after I clicked it. Okay, so anyway, I'm invisible. My enemies are close. So I have to get in now. Okay. Mm -hmm. welcome. That was actually a shortcut since he passed the roll. Okay, cool. Because that wasn't actually the right choice, but since he passed the roll, it went quicker. You didn't well, even see the questions that I was talking about before. A well-guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down here? So, yeah. All right. That's interesting. That he passed the roll, so we actually got to bypass all of those questions that I was talking about before. Because he passed the roll. Yeah, because I always pick the correct option, so I never had to do a roll. So that's interesting that we actually bypassed it because he passed the roll. Interesting. I actually kind of annoyed because I actually wanted you to see the questions that Astarian gets asked because they give Moving a bit ahead. more insight into his personality. All right. Anyways. All right. Rusted key. That's what we want in here. Which you only see if you hold down alt. Give that to him. Haven't even used the poison yet for him, but... All right. That just leads back to where we came from. Yeah, that's weird. I never knew that you could bypass all that if you passed the roll, because I never ever had to roll before, because I always pick the right choice up ahead, like the first one. Huh. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed by that, because I wanted to actually get the Astarian-specific questions that tell you a lot more about his personality. What's in here? But at least we got the, you assume you look fabulous line. Yeah, we're probably going to end after this this bit, but only because I kind of got to go eat. Mm -hmm. Now this antitoxin has been bugged forever and you haven't been able to grab it. Now there is stuff you can read in there, but I'm not sure. They did unbug it. Guess we'll read these. Because I know that there's something in here that tells you something you do need to know. Okay, this is his experiments. Okay, okay. The book offers help, dare I accept. That's the important part of that. Um... Yeah, you do need information in one of these. I'm trying to skim through it to see. Okay, that just explains what happened to the town, because the last part is smoke on the horizon raid. Okay, um... Collect... 
See, I already know the information, so I don't even remember where you get the information. But you get it somewhere. Okay. Anyways. It's not really that big of a deal. If you're curious enough, you'll stumble on it even without reading the thing that points you in that direction, so. Alright. With haste. Okay, here we go. Now I don't think we've got many disarm kits. This could be a problem. No, I'm not How can trying I to talk to you. I'm not trying to talk to you. Better not be cursed. <laughs> All right, so how many disarm kits do we have? Oh, holy crap, I got a bunch of junk. This dog is like endlessly whining. It's so distracting. All right. <laughs> Where are the disarm kits? Somebody has them. I'm gonna put that in the thing too. Yeah, I always put my keys in here just so they don't take up space. Okay, so there's two disarm kits. Okay, cool. That's what we need. Okay. So let's save since it's been a long time and I might screw this up. <laughs> Like I screwed up the question the mirror. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go back here, and once again, poor Starian's gotta get separated from the pack because he's useful. Okay. A book of necromancy. Interesting. Okay, so disarm this. <laughs> Can I please get the thing to add the bonus? No, apparently not. Well, that's upsetting. I can't give him his bonus because I'm apparently too far away. He might still be okay. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, now, look, can I come closer so I can actually give him his damn bonus? Will it work now? Am I close enough? Yes, okay, I'm close enough now. All right. fine. <laughs> he didn't need it. <laughs> but that did get higher. It used to be like a five or something. All right. So Go. let's get him back out here. Now will separate me out because I think that I don't necessarily get the same lines if they're with me. Or there, if it's not me clicking on the thing. Yeah. You can come up here. Just so you're all close enough for your dialogue to trigger, hopefully. Alright. Let's move. Gonna save one more time. Although the, the traps are disarmed, we should be fine. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. That's like literally right out of the Only evil dead. an oval recess in the cover's <laughs> mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? <laughs> How about you just leave it where you found it and we saunter away? I have my fair share of experience with dangerous books. I'll uh, take that off your hands into more prepared ones. So Starry and Gil both want the book. Mm hmm So let's see. Can drop the tome ready to destroy it. 
tuck the book into my pack or leave the book be? We'll tuck it into my pack. Oh, I already disarmed the traps, so I think I'm fine. Let's get back out here. Put everybody back in the group. And I think we should be fine because the traps are disarmed. All right. Anyways. So I think that's about where I'm going to end because it has been over four hours. And I don't know when I'm going to be streaming again. But thanks for anybody that stopped by and was hanging out and chatting. And um, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to be able to stream again because I can only do it when the house is empty and doesn't have annoying dogs. Which is never. But <laughs> the dogs usually aren't as annoying as they've been tonight, though. Usually. But I'm going to end here, and again, thank you for hanging out, thank you for chatting, and um, next time I get to stream, hopefully you'll stop by again. Bye, everybody.